Take notice, proclamation judicial, not a mason official, temple head on a swivel, see rights are not civil, jurisdiction challenge, railroaded acquittal, ex parte no trial, dismissal is artificial, straw man is not a lawman but ends legacy, in color of courts, more racket than tennis, where colored man has no rights, and sick of this more thing, Jamal and Black Knight, Robin Hood and Zim, not Cornish but Moorish American, stand on squares, surging adrenaline, Take notice, for the cross with a fez on Your favorite rapper has a dress on and leave press-ons Take notice, you got hex and lost focus While I see with eyes behind my head like Jokic Are you listening or under hypnosis? Is intelligence overpowered by your emotions? Take notice, crack team shots give blood clots No what the Gen Z zombie culture No Thanksgiving eating thighs of turkey vultures Never see slaves, only black or more sculptures Take notice, take of storms and swarms locusts when affirming no claps hands palms open that man's with hugs brotherly love holy covenant take notice moorish government unconscious moors used to meet quotas chicago congressman won from the moorish voters elders took notice so what drew ali said oscar bay next to the prophet cause the priest is dead bay anderson on his right moorish hijab right to bear arm moors might wear a niqab law and order mind traders draw in quarter time Cutting off hands and ears for committing the crime Vegan beef with dirty moors is not a family feud Families fight, one's wrong, have perception skewed Spiritual altitude, lower self subdued No sucrose drinks or European poison foods Holistic verses, mafoas, alkalines Past the only speaking tongues from Alta wines For treason, they all face the firing line Most bystanders not preventing the crime Society invites it, then rewrites it If a battle can't be won one don't fight it Not say and see corruption And be silent, be defiant Never punish all the clever corporate tyrants Take notice Politicians hurt their own children Yours get shot up and in the news for causing killings Calling them black translates to living in death Trans march for rights with their BIPOC breath Take notice Sex said taught in daycare False evidence appearing real is how you say fear Claim you're woke but still You're dead and sleeping Can't you see you popping pills for the thrill seeking thinking they can fly off balconies leaping one's face lift like weekend too much competing trying to be someone else don't be themselves skinny jeans got their manhood short like elves losing eyelashes puckering lips and tongues out should be enough to have dad's guns out take notice we sit back and watch it happen he's in extensions lap dancing devils while rapping she's in every video twerk and ass slapping y'all are victor and dre and Sha, dildo strapping i see what what they trying, I took notice, I see their motives, as they're bringing 12 roses, bullets are used on blacks now, not fire hoses, necrophiliacs and bodies, before it decomposes, take notice. Yo, we live by ten laws, five principles. Initiation, meditate, divine rituals. We live by ten laws, five principles. One nation, one God, indivisible. We live by ten laws, five principles. Initiation, meditate, divine rituals. We live by ten laws, five principles. Yeah. One nation, yeah. one God, yeah. indivisible. Yo, bringing forth light through the dark. That's the first thing that Drew Ali taught. You're a divine being, can't be sold nor be bought. Like a star, all caps, like a corporation. You're a star off the charts from the constellations. This is serious, B. We gotta save a nation. No procrastination. Pick up the GS and tax to Rico teaches. Knowledge is self, not paperwork, gon' free us. Rock or never, I'm in the real metal, net of purist. And a lead male bait, one of the truest to ever do this. Middle finger to you, conscious fuck that turned you this. Criminal minded, took a lifetime to kill this. The lies of my eyes, that's what the wisdom of the womb is, the wisdom of the womb is what the ultimate truth is, the chorus watching your actions, don't care who you did, my nectar is peace, Islam like a Buddhist. 
ten lies, five principles to eliminate the flaws. Align the individual. This is effect of the cause. Complex but so simple. Take a pause. Take in the instrumental. Things coincide. Nothing coincidental. No mistakes. Nothing accidental. This is serious B, we gotta save a nation, no procrastination Pick up the GS and tax to Rico teachers Knowledge is self, not paperwork, gon' free us Raw enough for I'm in the real metal net of purist And a lean male bait, one of the truest to ever do this Middle finger to you conscious fucks that turn you this Criminal minded, took a lifetime to cure this The lies of my eyes, that's what the wisdom of the womb is The wisdom of the womb is what the ultimate truth is The chorus watching your actions, don't care who you did My nectar is peace Islam like a Buddhist. Ten lies, five principles to eliminate the flaws. Align the individual. This is effect of a cause. Complex but so simple. Take a pause. Take in the instrumental. Things coincide. Nothing coincidental. No mistakes, nothing accidental. Occupy the space, we call it the temple. Open up the safe, give them what's essential. If they violate fingernails and the dentals, ain't leaving no trace elements as fundamental. Apply the law of attraction. What you do has the opposite of equal reaction. The NSF plans ain't shit without actions. Ten laws simple, five principles, these are the cool. Squarely outstanding, laws cancelable, immutable, and all constitutional by law. These laws simple, five principles, ten articles, enforceable, this show up for sure, so official, and all constitutional by law. Next law, sink or prince, my seal be my thumb, fingerprint. Red ink stamp, shut down the big bang. Ten plus seven articles, that's it, man. A dumb don't get it, yeah. the sun gon' set, gon' be a big bang. I'm more beautiful, that's a good thing. God has a trust, y'all wanna buck, call for some red shoes. Y'all wanna bless fool with a hood wing. Make your skin chubby leather, trying to be something you can never. Black's dead necro, I'm a full of life spectrum. Whistle blow a lot of prana, that's before the sauna. You're not a man, you a iguana. Who said we're not in Africa? Look up. Gonswana, but don't wanna cuss me and Guanya. Learn your unalienables. Tell you more, but it's unbelievable. We live by ten laws, five principles. Initiation, meditate, divine rituals. We live by ten laws, five principles. One nation, one God, indivisible. We live by ten laws, five principles. Initiation, meditate, divine rituals. Principles get your conduct straight, crocodile back. Divine law violators won't give a smile back, much less a nod. When I hail up, they screw face up. So dent like Harvey has their two faces up. Trust less, cause trust more is left for worthy. No principles but justice. For the more that's dirty. Claims correspond from matter to energy. Swimming in the sub realms for mental and spirit affinity. Vibrate and cause light and heat and magnetic from the lower mind. To the higher mind, breast simplicity, the rules, the capacity for pain and pleasure is so balanced. You can cause an imbalance. Never y'all taking chances on rappers. I move with law and order. Outside and independent of all is chaos disorder. Cause the root of everything that happens or doesn't deny and affect means the law is repugnant. Elevation stunted, even drunk or blunted. Will have you misdirected by the false pundits. Trying to hit a grand slam when you should have bunted. Spiritual abundance keeps demons dungeon. That spooky shit's not mystical. The boogeyman you fear is invisible. 
The cookie that you smoke's not original. The pussy said the stroke in is minuscule. The God in the flesh, indivisible. For now, that's why it's called individual. Can't divide the two, and this God's a criminal. Y'all about, y'all about, but I'm cynical. Invincible among bare minimals, maximizing ten laws, five principles. That's the guy that comes with no shit dibble, no fox. Facts are on facts are on facts. It's centrifugal, mass reach a critical, peeling the pineal back, reach the pinnacle, sealing the deal with no seal and no flow. While I ridicule the charming snakes that limit you and christen you. We live by ten laws, five principles. Initiation, meditate the mind ritual. We live by ten laws, five principles, one nation, one God, indivisible. We live by ten laws, five principles, initiation, meditate, divine rituals. We live by ten laws, five principles, one nation, one God, indivisible. Check it. Uh, check it. Uh, check they say they want to learn. They only debate. Breakfast in the truth. Trust me. They only found the grace. Learn the nationality before you question my estate. I'm not a minority. Why you so late? Majority rules. Here comes the test. Fact. That's my hand in the form of a feet on the chest. That's a womb that is blessed like a moon and a crest. Major forever. Infinite mindset. Major from birth. That's a seed in process. I'm a force that is easy to digest. Competent, never terrenalious. That is my land, never faking. Sacred traditions, petitions for what you're not Jamaican. No Westmoreland, to pork more. Everybody needs more. We feel please more. Uh, following the fossil vision report. I see the unseen more. We more. More, That's more, a more, fact. more, 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 more. They say they want to learn, complain classes are too long, don't want it on a phone call, energy too strong. North gate, North gate, H2O flow, 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 H2O Check it. They say they want to learn. They only debate. Reference in the truth. Trust me. They only sound the grace. Learn nationality before you question my estate. I'm not a minority. Why you so late? Majority rules. Here comes the test. Fact. That's my hand in the form of a feet on the chest. That's a womb that is blessed like a moon and a crest. Major forever, infinite mindset. Major from birth, that's a seed in process. I'm a force that is easy to digest. Competent, never terrenalious. That is my land, never vacant. Sacred traditions, petitions for what you're not Jamaican. No Westmoreland, to pork more. Everybody needs more. We feel pleased more. Uh, following the fossil vision report, I see the unseen more. We more. More, that's more, more, fact. more, 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 They say they want to learn, complain classes are too long, don't want it on a phone call, energy too strong, get it from the wrong source, now they way off course, think they must be Muslim and give up on all sports, should give up the red meat, must give up on all porks, won't be yelling haram when the bottles are uncorked, eating with the spoon, use forks for tuning, 
eating humble pie. No ego balloon and Samson two caterpillars. Got them cocooning as the full moon hung spiral energy moving up through the crown chakra. Energy shooting and told me upload classes before live YouTubing. 16,000 subscribers, 20% consuming, 80% troll pretending to be tuned in. Comment on every video, pushing the thumbs down. We'll push the link when we live, just like a clown. Pouring in the incompetence, always debating. Dissing Drew Ali, but won't give the location. His image on the black banner, that's placation. Just get him out of here, Yusuf yells in frustration. We know they're playing games, we're not berating. Calling on the one, Shimitar's penetrating. In defense of prophets and others abused. And newly awakened Moors, amused and confused. Common sense, Common sense was made before, before book, book sense. sense. Canaan Land Moors presents Common, Common Sense, sense. Quick. Legendary, bury me in the North Gates Cemetery, February the 4th day Son of Mary, day ahead of my born day Independence alarm, may sip another a lost case With case laws, we break them down like Jericho Keeping all my lions tamed, I'm Chris Jericho I'll keep a mask on deck, I'm Ray Mysterio Fake pandemics announced over the radio Annoyed with the game, the joys and the pains I'm Rob Face, mix it with rock the hard way I was in the lost state Prophets told me up Right, brought me to a law skate, cooking like I'm salt bay, rapping like I'm Denzel, Malcolm X, Deja Vu, Roman J. Israel, and no but do I live in plain sight, but people still can't see it, so the snake's still showing up, stakes still high, so the race still going up, warriors of the North Gate, we not slowing up, born in the manger, sworn to be savior, walk through the valley of the shadows of the death, dipping slavery, looking for light, the book of Genesis, astral plane entrances, invoke the nemesis, abstract images of was made before book sense. Canaan Land Moors presents Common Sense Quick Legendary, bury me in the North Gates Cemetery, February the 4th day Son of Mary, day ahead of my born day Independence alarm, may sip another a lost case With case laws, we break them down like Jericho Keeping all my lions tamed, I'm Chris Jericho I'll keep a mask on deck, I'm Ray Mysterio Fake pandemics announced over the radio Annoyed with the game, the joys and the pains I'm Rob Face, mix it with rock the hard way I was in the lost state Prophets told me up Right, brought me to a law skate, cooking like I'm salt bay, rapping like I'm Denzel, Malcolm X, Deja Vu, Roman J. Israel, and no but do I live in plain sight, but people still can't see it, so the snake's still showing up, stakes still high, so the race still going up, warriors of the North Gate, we not slow up, born in the manger, sworn to be savior, walk through the valley of the shadows of the death, dipping slavery, looking for light, the book of Genesis, astral plane entrances, invoke the nemesis, abstract images of past. Life's kicking in danger, running for your life, finish him. Morris Omar, key man or oracle, using shinery powers, decipher allegorical, lost in metaphorical, holy books are metaphysic, facts like a dirty more or a Drew Ali critic, calling him Thomas or Walter and get your face caved, or cut like a close shave, drowned in my brain waves, squashed by heat waves, activating Kundalini, Abyssinia invaded by Mussolini, Selassie I in exile, reptile in Genesis, nigga appearing real, all I see is false evidence. VA are feminists, stomped on by elephants. More like more prejudice, but want moreish benefits. When you feel the cold magnetic resonance, apis horns of the sacred book all maleficent. Great cosmic mothers return to blissedness, no pestilence. Ace all the testaments, tap into remembrance, never to forget again. Use energy right, not put spell effects on men. Wandering the earth plane with more they live shades. Keeps you a mental slave as the horizon fades. It's been decades since Christian crusades. Not a enough rebellions, too many vigil bouquets, holding on to the fence, burning on doomsday, war ruled by Mars, it might be on a Tuesday. Canaan Land Moors presents Common Sense and Quick Quick. What we do here is we add some common sense thinking to everyday situations or comments that may arise. Want to give it a try? Sawmores. 
Islam to all the Moors. Peace and love to all the Moors. Before we um, start, I just want to remind you. I just want to remind you. A news for reflecting sunlight at night. Walls are the brown table set of ourselves along a master of his mother and letters. For a mudra, a right thumb, a spelling, a whole intelligent. Ben was our leader. He wasn't just the teacher, but now he was the leader of the whole group. But Ben was our leader. He wasn't just the teacher, but now he was the leader of the whole group. But Ben was our leader. He wasn't just the teacher, but now he was the leader of the whole group. But Ben Dad Ben is our leader. He was listening just to teach you, but now he's the leader of the whole group. But Ben Dad Ben is our leader. He was listening just to teach you, but now he's the leader of the whole group. But Ben Dad Ben is our leader. He was listening just to teach you, but now he's the leader of the whole group. That that Jeff is the man that that Ben is the guru. That's what we're looking for. So I'm the man that 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 is the guru. That that Jeff is the man that that In 1506, after we lost power in Spain, the Africans ruled Spain from 711. We were calling ourselves Moors, M-A-U-E-R-S, then M-O-O-R-S. 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 From 711 until 1485, 774 years, when we built and brought into Europe the university system, building the University of Salamanca, S-A-L-A-M-A-N-C-A, in Spain, a copy of the University of Genet from ancient Ghana, which was equally a copy of the University of Sankore in Tumbuk, which the French later called Timbuktu. Now, these, the, these the, look, if you want to read it, read Stanley Lane Poole's The Moors in Spain, written in 1887, or Alianjo Macaziza. Read his book in Spanish, The Moors in Spain. Thank you. 
We were calling ourselves Moors, M-A-U-E-R-S, then M-O-O-R-S. We were calling ourselves Moors, M-A-U-E-R-S, then M-O-O-R-S. We were calling ourselves Moors, 
M A U E R S, then M O O R S. We were calling ourselves Moors. M A U E R S, then M O O R S. We were calling ourselves Moors. M A U E R S, then M O O R S. We were calling ourselves Moors. M A U E R S, then M O O R S. We were calling ourselves Moors. M A U E R S, then M O O R S. So, I just wanted to lay a little foundation so people don't get mad. Right? Just want to lay a foundation so people don't get mad. So, I got up today and got ready. Well, I'm getting ready. I'm listening to this Instagram. <laughs> this Instagram live. <laughs> and Brother Yusuf's out there killing this video. Like, what is going on right now? Like, what is going on? What is going on? And I had the mind. I had the mind to do the premiere today for the usual, you know what I mean, 2 p.m. Yeah. 2 p.m. premiere, you know what I mean? But I was like, you know what? <laughs> this is going to be a good one. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one. Put on your seat belts. Put on your seat belts because this is going to be a good one. So... We we're building before this. Everything is live right now. Like everything is actually actually live. So what we realized is that these people are trying to do a ritual on Steve Coakley because there you go. Yeah, the eleventh. He the eleventh, two thousand twelve. So we're sitting there and like, hold on a second. How come? How come these people are talking crazy all of a sudden? They're trying to put the ritual on Steve Coakley. Because he gave up the whole game. Yep. And you're still getting played right now, today. You're still getting played. Doing the same dumb stuff that the people before us did. The why we're in the, in the same situation. And everybody told you. What did Dr. Ben just tell you? We were calling ourselves what? What do you say? You're calling yourself black people? You're calling yourself African people? M-O-O-R-S. <laughs> Spelled it for you. Incompetent boy. Spelled it for you. Still don't get it. Juali made the smallest pamphlet and then gave you the question and gave you the answer. So you mm -hmm. don't even have to study anything. You got the answer already. He gave you everything. Like, what, 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 what's going on here? But we realize that the Bule is mad. The Moors, and then and then it also hit me too. When I was listening to, I was listening to the mother, Juju, and she was talking about how Moors not really knowing how many Moors there are in places, and that is probably more than you think that there are. You know, if we just, you know, not even separating it into temple, whatever, and in the temple, out of the temple, whatever. There's Mars. How many Mars are there? You know? So, yo, so we realize. And then this is how it's so live. So it is so live that also sent the link to Steve Coakley the second in Ghana to try to get him on here. Then he's just busy because. He's just busy. But we're still going with it because we were going to go with it anyways because it was going to be the premiere, but we said, nah, let's just make this one, one in honor of the Boule head bosser. Yes, he was. <laughs> yes, he was. The sellout and trader. Headbusser. 
right? Didn't care. Didn't care. If you're not with the people, you're getting called out. You're a traitor. But it's not even for me, so let me just, I would just shut my mouth. Let me just cue this up. Uh, hey, Brother Yusuf, if you have anything to add before we play this thing. Islam, Green Sheik, Islam. Just a couple things, too, real quick, because, like, the mothers always used to say and still say, this is the time of information. This is the information age. Yeah. So it being the information age, I was just thinking about it, how lucky we are at a time right now. You know, we got the prophet. No, we have the, you know, uh, Noble Drew Ali's information. And then we have RV Bay Publications, Steve Coakley, Candleland Morris, Taj, Hakeem Bay. You know, it's so many people. Like yeah. we're really in that we're really lucky right now yeah. because you know I watch Steve Coakley videos and he still talks to the people like well maybe y'all they didn't know it was it was at a time when these people really didn't know that the boule existed that there was a group of people that looked just like you and I that was really selling our people out like people didn't know but now in the information age like we should be real thankful that we can just like like it's like this is been a time when steve coakley there's no you know google or nothing like this in 93 he couldn't just click of a button you know we can just click of a button swipe 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 and find out anything we want you know so like this is really the time of information age like i had to really think about that because steve i, I think about it too steve coakley was here way before his time because the people that was getting the information in. I don't see them people now doing the Steve Coakley. Where is these people at? That was all showing up. And it, it used to be hundreds of people going to Steve Coakley seminars. Say that again. Say that again. It Say was hundreds again. of people. Hundreds. Hun hundreds. I remember when, when um, for example, one college he was at, he had asked the hostess, how many people? How many? How many people this building hold? He said about seven thousand. He said it's seven thousand people here, cause it was packed. Yeah. He said it's standing room on. It's standing people in. It was seven thousand people coming to see Steve Coakley, and I don't see any of these people now. Where they at? Yeah, where they at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Not one. Not one. That's why I'm like he was here before his time, because this. There's a bunch of more that are find this information that Steve Coakley is pushing and would really go crazy with this information. Just like Brother Yusuf, like right now. <laughs> I find it, I, it, that's why I'm, I was highly offended. And that goes right back to what we're doing right now. That's why I was highly offended for the title of um, Rich's um, show that he was doing or you know, teach whatever yeah. the lecture that he was getting given from um Professor James Smalls, like that was that alone, just the title alone was already disrespectful to a man who like I was saying yesterday, to a man who had dedicated his entire life. Steve Coakley dedicated his entire life. Everybody know that. People who know Steve Coakley personally, I just know him through the videos and I can see that this man who was missing teeth. You know, wearing the same clothes that the, every I'm like that. He had that outfit on at the other lecture. You know, like at another. Yeah, he don't. He got three outfits, two pairs of shoes. He didn't have nothing, and he was trying to hold. You know, take care of his consanguinity, his morbidus, his children, and he was just getting the help from the people, and and now he's transitioned for ten years, and for y'all to make this video now, like I had, I could not let that just pass me i couldn't like like it was like okay i was you know how they like enough's enough like i was really that right there that stepped on my i was like all right i, I gotta i'm not gonna let that one slide like the little rami stuff and clifton harrison's you know that's funny 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 but you guys are really trying to do a ritual on a brother who transitioned this month in april april 11th and now you're going to start doing lectures around 
almost nine days exactly, which is back to that boule number, number nine, nine days, almost nine days to the fact when he transitioned, y'all did the video. Like, that's what we're dealing with right now. For the, and the Grand Sheik's going to play the video, but for um, Smalls to go up there and make his play and downplay the Boulay's activity, like their destruction in our people's lives hasn't been immaculate. Like, they, they for a, a, over a hundred years, these people have been a couple, a couple hundred years. These secret society on our side have been putting keeping us into slavery. I really was offended. It really made me upset that they would just make this video like Steve Coakley didn't cover it already. The the Prince Hall and Boulay's uh secret relationship. See see Steve Coakley covered this stuff in 1993, 92, 91, 89. 89 he started going hard. 89 and for them to start twenty and twenty, like I said yesterday, if Steve Coakley was alive, they would never have made that video, never. Because, mm. like Steve Coakley said, Steve Coakley mm. said it. They know I'm good. Uh, that brother Steve Coakley is good with the information, and brother Coakley will come tap you on that ass. They, that's right. So they they knew better to do that if Coakley was still alive, and that's another. That's the cowardly. And he's going to say it in the video. Oh, I'm not a coward. Well, that's some coward shit y'all was pulling off today. You, you waited till a man transitioned and then try to downplay the boule when Steve Coakley told you. Show us the handshake. If you are on our side, show us the secret handshake. The handshake. That's the one right now. Show us the handshake. Show us the handshake. If you're for the people, boule whoever's and, and, and whoever else out there playing their little club games, Show us the handshake. They never going to show the handshake, and we ain't even Grand Street. What was Small saying? Oh, we built communities. We built so-called black people communities. We built jobs and all of this. We don't want none of that. We just want to see the handshake. We, you can keep all of that. Just show us the handshake. You, you can keep all of that, which I've never done. Y'all have never done. Y'all have never done that. Just show us the handshake. And like Steve Coakley said, you'll know if they're on your side or they're really riding with the other side if they show you the handshake. Yeah. Dick Gregory didn't show Steve Coakley the handshake. And that's his boy. That's his freaking homes. That's his, that's his boy. These men did lectures together, ate together. All of that. He ain't show Steve Coakley that handshake. That's what we dealing with. That's that's what we dealing with. For him to go up there and try to make it seem like the boule, oh, we've done this for our people. No. Steve Coakley talked about that too. That y'all play that. We've okay. If you've done this so much for our people in Look, 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 look how perfect this was. Steve Coakley's the man. That they say that they do all of this and that and this and that for our people. Why do y'all have to be in secret? Why can't y'all be in the forefront in the public and be able to help our people? Mm. He's, and then Steve Coakley said, you Negroes is the most arrogant. Look at me, people on the planet. You mean to tell me when y'all go to go help somebody, y'all ain't trying to let everybody know? So don't try to look, don't try to play that. Oh, we help the community, but it's a secret crap because that's not Negroes fortitude. Y'all be ready to show off everything y'all doing and got ready. First one, look at me, look at me, look at me. But now all of a sudden when you help the community, oh, it was, that was a secret. We didn't want nobody to know about that. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. That's why. That's why Black Lives Matter got their six million houses and stuff like that. There you go. There you go. You know, mm. Look at me. The look at me game. There you go. And one of the, what and I told you, one of the leaders of the Black Lives 
Mad Air Group, Rhodes Scholar. Yeah. Oh, Rhodes yeah. Yeah. Steve okay. Copeland went on all, all of that. Yeah. For those of you, if you don't know who Cecil Rhodes is, the the he's the real Hitler. So that's like all the stuff that they say about Hitler, yeah, that's like you having a Hitler scholarship. And you going around <laughs> telling people, yeah, I got a Hitler scholarship. Like, yo, brother, you know, people don't like that name. <laughs> <coughs> Because of what it stands for. Cecil Rhodes and what he stands for, it's the same thing. You don't want a Cecil Rhodes scholarship. But majority of you, these their leaders, Cecil Rhodes Scholar, Bill Clinton, Rhodes Scholar. That's they that's their that's they that's their leaders. They've been setting this up for the plenty of these people. Howard, Howard's president when FEMA, when Bill Clinton, when Bill Clinton, Bill Gates gave Howard University that the largest um donation check in HBCU's history. Bill Gates gave the big the biggest donation ever to that president of Howard University. That president of Howard University at the time, Rhodes Scholar. Boule, Ro Boule, Rhodes Scholar. Yeah. These people not put, and then somebody makes a post with the Ukraine so-called HB, HBCUs is letting Ukrainian people come over there for free, but been charging y'all forever. Mm. Say that again. Say that one again. Mm. If, that one you, if that one doesn't hit you as a as as somebody who is for the HCBU, whatever. As somebody who's for that, like it should hit you. It should hit you that about all these individuals, all these young people who lost the opportunity to go to to go to them black schools and all that stuff because they couldn't for whatever reason. But then some Ukrainians who they say are going to some war or whatever like that, they they get to go. If that, yeah. Say, yeah, say, say that again, though. Say that again. Hampton, what is it? Ham, Hampton University? Some, it's Hampton, some school. I don't know if it's Hampton College, but it's an HBU, HBCU school. The president of it is William something. They're letting the Ukraine students come there for free, but been charging y'all since its inception, been charging y'all. This same dude, William something, who's the president of Hampton University, the HBCU school, he's also the owner of Pepsi Cola out in Michigan. 100% owner. Like, nobody got no shares in that one. He's the owner. And also, he's a Sigma, Sigma Pi Phi Boule member. And Vietnam and with the Vietnam. If you know any, if you've been watching Steve Copley videos, he tell you all them Vietnam veterans are sellouts. All of them. And, and, and this this to do and and Hampton University, the HBCU school, that president, he allows Rhodes Scholars. So they qualify for Rhodes scholarships, which which details then if you, if so one of their students qualify for a Rhodes scholarship, they ship them off to Oxford University, and they keep the British imperialism continued, which comes from the Cecil Rhodes the Round Table Group, which consisted of Cecil Rhodes, Lord Escher, and um, William T. Steed. Who rewrote the history of the world? The, 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 and that's who they don't speak about. Steve Kobe loves when Grand Sheik plays these videos and reads these articles. He's gonna tell you all about how they can't speak about the round table and all of these organizations that control them. They can't even speak about them. 
they'll they'll talk about Kemet. They'll break down all of the. They they one thing they're gonna do is talk about their masters and do anything nationally, internationally. They can't do it because they'll kill them. And all the people who took that free national name international, prominent people, they they got killed. Mikael, yep, who used to be a Jackson and all that. El Hodge. El Hodge so, tried to go interna international. Gone. Martin Luther King tried to go international with the war. I know it was the speech too, but he wanted to go international with the war. And then people didn't want to do that. You can't go international. If you a Boule member, they know that. They can't say nothing about no nationality or no international nothing. You, you can't do that. Can't do it. <coughs> and that's my other thing too. Because they say they swear up and down that they for their people. You know, and uh, Professor Smalls was saying, you know, how can we speak about something that we don't join? Okay. Steve Coakley questioned that. Because we already know by the actions of the Boule, they don't even protect their own people. Y'all got your own brotherhood, fraternity. Y'all do all of this hazing to each other, and y'all don't even honor each other's brother to the fulfillment. For example, Steve Coakley says, Bill Cosby, known Boule, father was killed, Boule. Nobody did anything. No Boule member stepped up and said, yo, we, for our Boule brother, we got to do something for Bill Cosby and his father who was Boule. Bill Cosby's son, Boule, he was killed on the side of the highway. Boule members, where they was at, N not one to revenge Bill Cosby's, their brother, Boule brother, whose son was Boule, nobody helped. No, they, they do a rampage of killing of Boule members and none of these Boule members help when their Boule brother, fraternity brother, brotherhood, all of that, uh, traveling man, cold crap, stomp the yard stuff, haze each other. As soon as one of y'all get murdered by one of your masters, y'all don't say anything. Y'all don't say nothing. Hmm. That that's the and that's the that's so for them to say like oh y'all don't people don't know anything about the the boule because we're not in it when you guys don't even protect each other you guys are a bunch of frauds everybody's in there living off of the people's um you know, our subjugation, being Negro, black, colored, not knowing anything about law, not knowing any, and they keep the, the colonization, the British imperialism thing, concept, the colonization concept, the Boule, Prince Hall, Sigma Phi fraternities, all of them push that. All, all of them push that. You know, oh, we, you know, if you think about it, all of the black fraternity men, because this 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 um was Professor Smalls is saying was majority of your engineers. You couldn't call an engineer over if he wasn't a Prince Hall Mason or whatever, whatever. See, now here we go again. Y'all done took on this black fraternity stuff like that's the people. The Moors, us Moors are the art and cult of civilization. We were just walking engineers. I'm talking about, you know, they're making it seem like you need some qualification from some modern European to be an engineer. That's what consists of you as an engineer. That's that's false. That's that's not that's not true. But according to Steve Coakley, if, if you went if you go to the HBCU school, any school, any college, any college, because they're all fraternities, and you are a brother or a more sister. And you want an engineering job and up engineer, professor, uh, physician, doctor, whatever. You want an engineer job and up. 
only way you're going to get that job and up out of college and get that degree is if you join one of them fraternity because the fraternity has to allow you into the club to get the, the diploma first. It's not about you getting the great, oh, I ain't going to join the fraternity. I'm just going to get my engineer and I'm going to graduate, get a job. No, 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 no. They determine your job. Yeah. They determine your job. That's This is known. Steve Coakley brought this out in the 90s. That's why when they be like, oh, go to school and get a good education and da 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 Well, remember, if you want an engineer job and up, only way you're going to get it is if you join one of the fraternities. That's that, yo. That's because they let you, then them the ones that let you in. Then they, they, they let you in. If you don't join the fraternity, they're not going to let you in. It's a Steve Coakley, he even, he, he, yo, that's why I get so frustrated about the video. Because he had brung it to a point where he even said it, where we can put the boule up on criminal charges for conspiracy, for, you know, for helping these people keep us enslavement, for help hiding murderers. They know that they know the CIA wanted Martin killed and it and, and or certain boule members helped set the atmosphere for certain people to be murdered. They may not have did the murdering, but they set the atmosphere. That's a that's a griffin. That's mm -hmm. a gargoyle. That's a that's that's what their job is to do. Yeah. And that's yeah. exactly what Steve Kobe talk about. Gatekeep. Yep. Yep. They're the gatekeepers. Yep. 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 That's why Grand Sheik, very upset that the video was made. And that's another thing. Steve Coakley said it. I probably said it already. He said, don't let don't don't let somebody say something about me and 10 years go by and you didn't say nothing. Y'all, y'all didn't even get 24 hours with me. I'm letting the elder know right now. Brother Yusuf didn't give let him get 24 hours and I was on their ass. <laughs> Soon as they started talking that craziness, <laughs> ten years, no, twenty four. Y'all get twenty four hours, and I was mad. Like, nah, they they will not get away with this BS right here. When I saw a man, almost they they tried to kill Steve Coakley, him, his wife, his children, and his mother. They shot the limousine up too early. Only reason why they shot they missed Steve Coakley. Because he didn't come downstairs yet. He was running late. That's his that, that's his story. He was going around telling everybody. Only reason why I was just late. He said, I just the guy, the, the driver was downstairs, told me he was downstairs. And I told him we'd be, we'd be downstairs in a few minutes. And we just started getting into the showers. <laughs> and when he came downstairs, the driver's conveyance was all shot up, and he was standing there in shock. The limit the the the, the the limousine was shot. They shot up the car, the conveyance. While he was upstairs, they thought Steve was in the conveyance the whole time, but he wasn't. And this happened in so-called Pittsburgh, where me and the Grand Sheik and other Moors went, and they treated us like crap there too. Yeah. Like when we and they tried to kill Steve Coakley when he was there giving a lecture. They them is something going on near that Pittsburgh corporation. Where them boule members are not playing, not playing. Oh. Wasn't ain't no Europeans. Yeah, it was the gatekeepers. This place. It was ve very frustrating to watch it, Green Sheet. That's why I, I had to. I had to say that first because I know Steve Coakley's smiling right now. Like, thank you. Y'all tried, but nah. Thank nope. you. Thank you nope. for keeping my name alive. Yep. Thank yep. you. Thank you for keeping the message alive that our own. You don't worry. 
you don't worry about what they're saying. Yeah. Steve Coakley told on all these people. Yeah. Yeah. He told on all of them. And and it's always also because of the people not wanting to use their own common sense. They always need some leader guy. The leader guy. There's only one of those. And every nation has it. A prophet. Every everybody has their has their their own. And we have our own. Right. Who Steve Coakley knew. Steve Coakley knew about the prophet. Mentioned Noble Jew Ali's title and everything. Yeah, knew that, about that, more that, escorting him to to, yep. to the lecture. Moore's being his muftis. Say that again, Grand Sheet. Moore's escorting. They was playing the so-called African drums, and the Moor walked Steve Coakley out. Fez, fezzed up. Fezzed up. The Moor. It was probably about a couple hundred people there that that day. Yep, where, where, where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? What's the remedy? The remedy is what we're doing right now. Exposing the sellout. And what we've been doing in honor of Steve Coakley because we've been studying him. What's the remedy? We always... Steve always, Coakley didn't have no teeth. Two pairs of shoes and three outfits. What's the remedy? They always want... That's boule talk. I'm telling you, they need to do some more studying. I don't know if it was genuine or not, but you, your whole concept of I want, I want, I want, I want, that's that's horrible. That's 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 what's going to lead you into hamster running in the in that wheel because you ain't it, it ain't going to happen. I just told you, engineer job and up, you got to sign with the boule. You moors are gonna need each other the most. That's what's that's that's the only way it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. That's the only way it's gonna happen. Yeah. No, no paperwork is gonna save you. And I mean like diploma paperwork or oh, look at my degree paperwork. No, that's not gonna help you when it comes to nationality, you, you, uh, nationhood and building. If you don't know how to do, don't be coming over here lying. Fronting like you know what you're doing and you don't, and now you're bringing the nation back down. You're trying to act like you know about electrical or you know about growing crops and you don't. That's going to bring the nation down. Just don't lie about it or learn about it after a while. Get taught about it. Doing this boule way, you got to sign with the boule and be Sigma Phi and all of that before you get an engineer job. That's they're monopolizing education. That's crazy. That's crazy because I already know my mom bike my little use of go to college, get it, and I'm sitting here like I don't know how this is gonna work when you know little Yusuf, he's a genius, but in order for my son to prosper, he has to join the other side. How does no? He's not doing it. Now look, see, that's real life. That's real, real life what they have done. Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna squeeze the good ones out and make you join them if you wanna so 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 called be successful because I even had to research that. Who 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 determines success? What is success based off of? Because I don't know what this shit keeping up with the Joneses dream, big house and the white picket fence came from. I don't who determined that? Where'd that come from? Hmm. With the having five conveyances and the three the three door garages. Who who said that that's success? I want to meet him. I want to know wh why he thought that was that. Going on vacations and eating at restaurants and every other place you go. I don't understand how that's success. Who determined that? 
That's 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 what I'm saying. That's boule way of thinking. With with the oh, I just want to be looked at as some just looked at in the making of the book in the, in the making of the Negro in America. It, it 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 said it. He didn't even want money. It wasn't even about money. They just want to be looked at as good citizens. I said, look at y'all. <laughs> <laughs> y'all just want to be looked at. This was 1898. When they was going to fight the war against Cuba, they was deciding if they was going to go fight their Cuban brothers. They said it just like that. The Negroes knew that they was going to go fight their Cuban brothers. They knew that. But for a better, a better status in life here, they would go kill their own brothers in Cuba for a better status in life here. They knew what they were doing, and they went and did it anyway. Not everybody agreed. There were some people who were on some, no, I'm not going to go join them. You know, like Muhammad Ali later on with that. It was more back in the 1800s who was denying the fact that they shouldn't go to war. But there was people like Kelly Miller, Elaine Lott, these Boule members who were convincing our people to go join the U.S. and go fight in those wars. Mm -hmm. All of these people were spies, worked for the other side. Thurgood Marshall, a spy, 33rd, 33rd Master Degree Mason. Steve Coakley got a peep. He was doing a lecture. I think it's called... Um, now and tell pro. Now and tell pro. Not co and tell. Pro. <laughs> now, yo, he's the man. Grand Sheik. He's the man. He was the man. I'm telling you. Steve Coakley was killing him, man. Now and tell pro. He was he was in there um explaining, you know, first of all, you gotta go now and tell pro, you gotta go the the, the co and tell pro is your mother. Your father, your sister, your brother, your wife, your husband telling you, you know, leave that stuff alone. That's that's that conspiracy talk that you got to deal with them. And then you got, you know, the Rothschilds and the Cecil Rose. And I was just like, dang, man, dang, man, like, this is horrible. This is horrible. Like, and we all, all of us as Moors, we deal with the, Brother Riches, the James Small, we got to deal with all of this first, and then we can get to the Cecil Rhodes, the Rothschilds, the Muskins, the Gates. The we then we can get to them. But they got their gatekeepers, James Small, Sylvia Rome, e etc. Got to get we got to get to them first, and that's why I love Steve Coakley. Name the names. Name the names. Don't start that, oh, the Illuminati. Say they name. This, see, that's the thing, too. Like I was saying earlier, where they be like, the Green Sheik, oh, you need to stop fighting with your brothers. Steve Coakley was telling y'all telling in the 90s where these Boulay members, their names, their addresses, where they live, where they worked at, he was telling you all their business. And ain't nobody say a word to Steve Coakley. A word. No, oh, you got to stop fighting your brothers. And no, no, none of that. None of that. Past Steve Coakley. Marcus Garvey was talking crazy to W.E.B. Du Bois. He told, he told W.E.B. Du Bois, I, you want to be everything but a Negro. He was talking, they was talking crazy to each other. He told W.E.B. Du Bois, um, where do you get this aristocratic from? Who ma what makes you think you're an aristocrat? You made this thing up in your head and now you just walking around being an aristocrat. I'm talking about these people were talking. And W.E. Du Bois was still talking back to them. They was going back and forth. Back and forth. It wasn't, oh, y'all need to stop arguing. No. Marcus Garvey knew W.E. Du Bois was a spy, was part of the talented intent. And he was calling them out. Get the book, Aristocrats of Color. Go in the back, look at index, and it'll tell you Marcus Garvey, and it bring you right to his quotations where he was talking crazy about the talent and Tim, the Boulay members, and all of them. 
Marcus Garvey even knew about him. Mar yeah. Marcus Garvey called out the boule. Now, for this James Smalls guy to come up here and be like, oh, the boule ain't who they... Marcus Garvey called out the boule. Okay? Yeah. Everybody reps Garvey, right? Everybody's RBG for life and all that. Everybody's red, back, green. But Garvey called out the boule. Call, call them right out. Called them right out. Called them right out. Called them right out. And 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 you when you play them videos, I know we go we go for a long time. I hope we can get to it. But there's another there's one of those one of those clips I sent you. Steve Coakley talks about how the boule was set up to get rid of Marcus Garvey. To help mm -hmm. get rid of him. The boule was attacking Marcus Garvey. It wasn't no Europeans or whatever like that that was attacking Marcus Garvey. The boule did that to Marcus Garvey. It was his, his own did that to him. It's very frustrating, Grand Sheik, because that's why I'm... Because their little ritual that you, they just tried to do, you know we're breaking that. That's destroyed. That's that's null, null and void now. That's not that's that's not working. Because you got we 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 busted the door down while y'all was in the middle of y'all ritual. Yeah. Turn the damn lights on. What y'all in here doing? You got a picture of Steve Coakley in there. Oh yeah. Oh the, yeah, inside inside the inside the pentagram or something. Oh oh yeah, you know it too. You bust know it too. Bust in on him. So let's bust in on him. Let's bust in on him. Hey, uh, uh, professor. Yes, yes sir. sir. There's a lot of misconceptions about uh, black Freemasons, and yes. especially I think especially after around the year two thousand. So much quote unquote conspiracy theory information, conspiracy theory information came out, hit the shelves, the bookstores, that it was just overload. Some of it was right, some of it was wrong. You know, um, and that's how it is with all information. People, you know, sometimes people start reaching and they just start making shit up. Sometimes they got it right, they tell the truth. But um, there's a lot of misconception about the black Freemasons and I know a lot of the greats, like Elijah Muhammad. So this is from what I hear, brother, uh, Mosabu, Elijah Muhammad, uh, Noble Jew Ali. Uh, I'm trying to think of um, um, some others. But a lot of the brothers. Any, any great black man you can imagine in black America was a prince of all Freemasons. Go ahead, brother Yusuf. You're muted if you're if you're talking. All right. Well, let me get back. Nobu Ali, the exhuming of a nation. Shikilahi Pleasant Bay. Was Nobu Juali a Freemason? O oh, heavens to the no, all so-called NBC Masons are African males who lay comatose and dead in their coffin, buried in the shallow grave of constitutional laws of corporate USA. They have been led to believe that they are cut above their fellow man, mothers, women, and children, but the coffin enslaves them all the same. No free man worth living would ever commit suicide. There has been much loose talk, accusations, Islamic speculations, Yorish science hypothesis, and outright lies, all alleging the Holy Prophet was a Western Freemason from some made in America order of free, ancient, and accepted Negroes. No, 
Drew Ali was never a Western Freemason, never joined a Negro Lodge, never wore a Masonic ring, and there is no attendance record of him ever attending any chapter of a Prince Hall Lodge, Negro Masonic Lodge. For those who insist on spreading this nonsense, please forward them a copy of this statement of facts built in the intellects of the following questions. In 1902, Timothy Drew, born January 8, 1886, left the USA and went to Egypt. At the age of 16, was too young to join a Masonic Lodge. In 1912, graduated from the ancient Kemetic mystery system, Islamism. He was given the high name Sharif Abdul Ali, which the most benevolent degrees the greatest school on earth could bestow upon any man as a prophet, angel, and Moslem, the name of the faithful, and went into the holy city Mecca. There, being accepted by Sultan Saud, a direct descendant of Hagar, Ali made his Hajj, and with their protections and blessings, left for the USA at age 27 with the sacred name of El Haj Sharif Abdul Ali. He did not join a Masonic Lodge while in Africa, nor Arabia, or Morocco, or India. So when? He opened his first temple in 1913, New Jersey, receiving the governor's full support. As a Muslim and an ordained prophet of Allah, what in the hell would a bunch of NBC Lodge brothers have to offer Nobu Juali. Remember now, we are talking about a group of male ex-slaves with no free national name, no power, no land, no government, no history, no future, and neither are they free, ancient, or accepted by any other nation on earth. To this day, they are made owned of the U.S. of A., has Morocco or any other nation come to the aid of the NBC Masons? Last question. Why would a conscious Muslim take his will from Allah and swear it to a most worshipful master? The true answers to the above questions will easily render an intelligent no. Nobu Juali was not a Mason. Again, this is not to degrade Morris Science Lodges of any degree, but to set the record straight. The duty of a prophet and a mason are as different as white and black or freedom and slavery. The NBC mason or otherwise were made to be property. They have never known freedom and never will know freedom. So you can take this message and you do the math with the dates, places, times attached to the then given Drew Ali his propers. Or keep the confusion going to your heart by accepting slave food from bottom feeders and pretended wise. Be advised. Do not let any more slip you a hate or more Mickey so that they can get you drunk enough to accept their teachings. None of us can afford to hate no one more. The cost is too high, especially now that Rome has fallen. If any Moorish Americans claim to be the sole authority of determining who is a real Chinese or a fake Chinese, a real Moorish American from a fake, and you know he or she is not the prophet, and they ain't been no further than the slave master's prison and brought nothing back but reason to hate another more, you become all you that you accept. These same secondhand leaders also claim to have power to give you nationality. Run from them. They too are crazy. Meanwhile, for those of you who know yourself and Allah, Read this. The time 
you waste trying to prove Drew Ali was a Mason or disproving he is Allah's last prophet is the time you should have used to free yourself and us as pure and clean nation. By now, the Moorish Americans would have rejoined the families of nations and recognized by them all. Bottom line is, where would we be had it not been for Noble Juali? This short version of this prophet is not a Western Freemason, is what in this world does a Negro of any position own that Noble Juali could possibly have wanted or used? Look briefly at his historical facts and look briefly at his historical facts which will refute such bogus claims. When he left the States at the age of 16, he was too young to be a Mason. When he returned at 27, he's an Egyptian Arab master from the Egypt High Order plus a Muslim who had just completed his Hajj in Mecca, thus too wise to become a Western Freemason. Can you see, let her see, the lies now? Albeit I have proven the Holy Prophet Nobu Juali was not a member of Western Freemasonry. All others are welcome to present their proof to the contrary. Otherwise, allow this degrading myth to die in the finite duration time from which it came. Now, Pleasant Bay's book's been out. Pleasant, Pleasant Bay's book has been out. And these people are still talking crazy. Juali is a mason. There's a lot like more. It. It's long. I like yeah. the part. I like when he asks, you know, give the proof. You know, because it's just saying it and and their proof being, you know, there's there's Masonic lodges. That's not the proof, man. Like when Steve Coakley brings the proof, like Steve Steve Coakley bring all types of evidence. Bag. To prove, bag. bag of stuff. To prove, you know, like, wait a minute, you're you're in the freaking brochure, guy. What do you mean? I, I found you. They don't they can't pull any of that for the profit. They can't pull any of it. Any 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 of it, but we can find the guy who invented Prince Hall, you can find all of that, but you can't find in the members who were there in, in the so-called back Boston, Massachusetts, when they created it. But you, you don't see nothing about no Drew Ali or Thomas Drew or whatever. You, you don't, you don't, you don't see that. <laughs> you don't see that or no boule pamphlet, nothing. Prince Hall, none of that. You, you don't see it from the from the. Like um, in the video, James Small said um, when he went to go join, they act, they was like, oh, no, Smalls, you know, we don't know if you can keep the secrets and whatever, whatever. And they let him join anyway because he can't keep the secret. When we're talking about Noble Drew Ali, we're talking about somebody who said, I come to reveal all the secrets. <laughs> 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 he told you I'll rip. I'm telling. So. Obviously, you can't join because he's saying he's telling. I'm revealing all of them. Only only way you can reveal them is if you didn't take an oath. Because if you took an oath, they're gonna kill you. It's true. That oath is a killer. <laughs> yeah, literally. <It's> right. <laughs> You could have played um oh it's still it's still from the beginning. I just missed that part. I did not know he said that um Noble Juali was amazing. He slid that in there, man. Yeah, he slid slid that one in. Slid that one in. And then I, I and, was, and then the saying that Noble Juali is black the black black man. Oh yeah, the black mason. 
and this guy all black people and it was like brother you know noble Jew Ali did no, said not. that we are not negro black colored and y'all still try to tie him in first of all y'all never even talk about y'all never even talked about noble Jew Ali. y'all never even used to talk about him but because now the pressure from the moors now you got to mention noble Jew Ali. because before before the pressure of the moors you would have just said you know marcus garvey you know Ma Malcolm X, you know how they like to talk. They'd have never mentioned Noble Juali if it wasn't from the pressure that the Moors have been putting on these sellouts. That he still had to say Noble Juali, and then when he said it, they want to call him a Black Mason. Yeah. See? Yeah. See. First, like we said, I got like I said in the beginning though. In my my in my humble opinion, the video should have never been made. It's a it's totally disrespect. To the elder Steve Coker. Yeah. It should have never been made from the in, in its inception. Should have yes. never been made. Yeah, just for the work that we know Steve Copley put in. And and it was crazy the quote that you said too about the um don't let 10 years after I die go by. Yep. And it's 10 years. Yo, 10, yo, 10. Remember that part, Brian? She that got me. That one slapped me. Yo, they they waited ten years. Steve me. Coakley said, "Don't wait ten years to for them to say something about me, and then you gonna speak, and then they gonna make a video ten years later talking like they did the whole town counter ritual yeah. to what he was." Yo, they yo they did good, man. Yeah, yeah. they did playing. good. They're not playing. They're they not waited playing. the ten years. Yeah, like they waited. They yeah. waited the ten years. Yeah, they waited. Another yeah, I know, yo, but sh showing you how the energy worked, like who wouldn't have knew? Like I always look at it like that. Like I tell y'all yeah. years ago, the big pile of the dust pile that gets swept in the kitchen and gets thrown in the trash. You know that dust in the corner that nobody sweeps up. That's brother Yusuf. That's me. <laughs> y'all just left me in the corner for like you know, nobody pay attention to nothing over there. So I didn't even get swept up in the trash, and I found out about. You know Steve Coakley and stuff like that. That's how I know Smalls and them know. Yeah, because they're the big pile that gets swept up in the trash. I didn't even get thought about to get swept up in the trash, and I found out about the information. Mm -hmm. I didn't even make it to the trash. At least they got to go to the trash. They just <laughs> forgot about me. Mm -hmm. They waited. They did the ten years. They they definitely did the ten year ritual. Yeah. <clears throat> We're talking about the. Let me just put this one out too. The more sent this one. You just have to talk about American blacks with African, African culture, African culture African as a conflation of history. Perversely sinister. The, the miseducation education of the Negro is more than just a book by Carter G. Woodson. It has, it has been a philosophy of American colonialism unto this day. And an essential part of this philosophy is using quasi-classically educated Negroes as harbingers for the Black masses. Carter G. Woodson being a prime example whom has been labeled by the establishment father of African-American history. Woodson obtained his PhD from Harvard in 1912, where only he and W.E.B. Du Bois were the only black men to achieve such at the time. And at the same point, both of these men would become members of the Boulé. One would think by reading Carter G. Woodson's somewhat unapologetically black and African-centric writings that he would have been considered radical and controversial to his white contemporaries. But if it weren't for these so-called white contemporaries, the Carter G. Woodson name would have never seen the eyes of the public. Most of his opposition came from black contemporaries who saw his amalgamation of American blacks with African, African culture as a conflation of history. As the case may be, the narrative states, Carter sought funding in order to continue his endeavors into the establishment 
of a Negro-centered historical foundation. Inadequate of funding himself, he then turns to the preeminent perpetuators of Negro miseducation for financial backing, the Carter E. Foundation, the Rockefeller Foundation, and the Julius Rosenwald Foundation. These foundations were created by some of the most unscrupulous businessmen in American history, yet these foundations would fund the spurious new black intellectual movement that culminated in the Harlem Renaissance. Hearing about Harlem, going to Harlem, became um, exciting, new, different, and people went. They went to a place that others would say, you really want to go up there. But in fact, going up there could get you the time of your life. And going into, uh, you also have to remember the early 20s before during Prohibition, Everyone wants to do just the opposite of what the law says. So, of course, that again, that's another reason to go to Harlem. Go against the grain. Women, go against the grain socially. Cut your hair. Wear the short flapper dresses. Go against societal norms. Harlem was that for white America. The Julius Rosenwald Fund, for example, literally funded most of the renowned artists, musicians, authors, playwrights, and activists of the late 1920s, and many of the names associated prominently in Black American history. People like Claude McKay, Ralph Ellison, Marian Anderson, Julian Bond, W.E.B. Du Bois, Maya Angelou, and Langston Hughes were paid by the Rosenwald Foundation going all the way back to the 1920s. So these black figures were being marketed to the masses by a small group of Jewish men as the leading black scholars in the country. This very same Rosenwald well, Fund Richie. first conducted the degenerate syphilis study in five southern states, transpiring as a result of their initial blueprint in the Tuskegee experiments. In addition, the Julius Rosenwald These more. No, I, I was just, I would um, give thanks to the more who sent this. <laughs> That's all. You know, <laughs> I thought you was right there. That's all. I just had to yeah, say no, that I, right there because yeah, it was a, it was a lot I wanted to say, and I'm yeah. like, yo, this, he's nailing it. This is the, this is what I wanted right here. This is perfect. He, this is <laughs> this is perfect. This this right here. This is what I wanted right here. Like That's if you can't even rewind it, you know, like um, thirty seconds. Yeah, you know, just no, 30 seconds, not much. Yeah, no, we can put it back. We can put it back for sure. For sure. Yeah. Because you realize that, you know. This is a good one. This is a good one right here. Because oh. remember, remember, they Smalls tried to lie and say that they, they helped um, with building communities. They helped with so-called Blacks with, uh, you know, becoming you know, engineers and all this stuff, whatever they was becoming. But remember, this video right here showing you all of this was sponsored by modern Europeans. Mm -hmm. Islam, Grand Sheik. Islam. The, the Julius, Julius Rosenwald Fund, Fund for, for example, example, literally funded, funded most of the renowned artists, musicians, authors, playwrights, and activists of the late 1920s. And many of the names associated prominently in Black American history. People like Claude McKay, Ralph Ellison, Marian Anderson, Julian Bond, W.E.B. Du Bois, Maya Angelou, and Langston Hughes were paid by the Rosenwald Foundation going all the way back to the 1920s. So these Black figures were being marketed to the masses by a small group of Jewish men as the leading black scholars in the country. This very same Rosenwald Fund first conducted the degenerate syphilis study in five southern states, transpiring as a result of their initial blueprint in the Tuskegee experiments. In addition, the Julius Rosenwald Foundation is responsible for the construction of over 5,000 schools, 
most of these schools primarily built for Southern Blacks. Why was Rosenwald so interested in helping Black people? Rosenwald himself came from an immigrant family of Jewish merchants. As a young man, he learned the family trade as an apprentice in New York and began making clothes. This led to his partnership with Sears Roebuck, who allowed him to buy shares in the company after they were having financial trouble. The company revived under Rosenwald, and he became wealthy. Rosenwald, while working as a young man, developed a close friendship with Henry Goldman, another second-generation German Jew, who was best known for Goldman Sachs, a prime brokerage investment firm that his father Marcus founded in Bavaria, Germany. Rosenwald had other powerful friends as well, who would all be instrumental in helping him and people like him become the face of simulated social reform. These men would use their millions to champion the new black agenda. When tracing the money reform. to some of the most prominent black organizations of the past, one is left with one. That social reform that you was talking about, that's for all um, socialists when they want to, like, I'm going to go to school and be a be part of some socialist, whatever. And and Steve Coakley talked about that, how they send the socialists into the communities to keep the people docile and that ramped up against the politicians and stuff. So, and if they do, they're going to gonna go back and report to everything that's going on. So those socialist programs were set up basically as spy centers. It's not a great sheet. One, One very, very common, common denominator. denominator. This, this denominator, denominator is the deception behind the miseducation of the Negro, a history signed and sealed in an African slavery-connected identity delivered to you by ignorant or compromised Negroes who have been indoctrinated into a false dogmatic historical cover-up. When reading the words of Black scholars of the past, there seems to be a romanticized relationship between these authors and their supposed African heritage. In W.E.B. Du Bois' renowned work, The Souls of Black Folk, the reference to Africa was made nearly a dozen times. In each reference, the word Africa or African is inserted into the text to draw comparison by similarity between African and Black American culture. And consistently, in each case, Du Bois provides no credible historical background into the analytical significance of his comparison, but rather vague conjecture, leading the reader into bias presuppositions. In page 196, Du Bois makes a definitive statement. The social history of the Negro did not start in America. With just this statement alone, W.E.B. Du Bois threatens the historical credibility of his entire career of works. Understanding the original American was reclassified as African and Negro in the century prior to his birth is a reflection never echoed in his work. Furthermore, the reclassification of a people and lacking in acknowledgement of heritable indigenous rights is verifiable treachery verifiable treachery yeah and remember this is during the 20s when the prophet is on the scene the Harlem renaissance is during the 20s mm -hmm. with langston hughes and all of them no hold, hold on hold on don't get too far <laughs> If Du Bois was, was a, a true, true historian, historian then, then he, he would, would have, have developed, developed his, his own legitimate historical perspective and outline concerning the history of the so-called African American. Instead, his writings are the bougie Zionist propagated social commentaries of an uppity Negro. 
As someone who had completed an entire database in which she had gathered census information on Southern American plantation owners and slave statistics, Du Bois never dedicated any of his writings toward the indigenous American culture that existed on the continent prior to colonialism and its connection to blacks in America. If anything, Du Bois could have been an instrument of the first American black regional beef. Instead of East versus West Coast rappers, it was Northern versus Southern Negroes. In writings that allude to the Northern Negro as progressive and the Southern Negro as a peon or pauper. His work, however, doesn't come completely without historical legitimacy, but instead narrated from the perspective of an outsider or spectator. In his book, The Souls of Black Folk, on page 48, Du Bois makes quick reference to the mulatto immigrants from the West Indies who immigrated to the North, whom had demanded to be considered freemen on the basis that they would seek assimilation and amalgamation with the nation on terms with other men. One of the families implicated in his text was an ode to his own ancestry. In his own words, the Du Bois family of New Haven sought to be not as slaves and not as Negroes. To be accurate, Du Bois, as the name suggests, was not American or even African for that matter. He claimed African ancestry from his mother's side. But his mother's Burghardt lineage wasn't black. His mother's grandfather was apparently a West African slave. But the Burghardt lineage was definitely Anglo-Dutch. On his father's side was the lineage of French Huguenots. His father Alfred had immigrated from Haiti to New Haven. By many accounts, his father could have been of mixed race origin, as French Huguenots were often known to comprise of a mulatto class. But you get the point. Get the point. Let's see what. Let's just see what Steve has to say. Showing you, like Steve Coakley found it from his inception with W. E. B. Du Bois when they started to work, when they can find those so called Negroes that they can bring in close enough to work for them and then start to go out and find other Negroes like them and recruit them to be able to, like the video was showing. When they was going around, well, why was it like the, the whole inception of setting up the HBCU colleges was to make good Negroes, to make Boulay members, was to 
keep the British imperialism going. To make you sell yourself out. To keep it going. Look at that. I and wonder if they even know the that. The point of this is, is that though we have always known the umbilical cord from the boule to the whites, what we're in effect doing now is filling in the blanks, picking up every linkage and detail, working them into their direct relationship with whites, showing direct impact. Kelly Miller is propagated all over, not just America, but in England. Mm. Who is it? I know you wouldn't know the answer, but when I gotta go, I gotta go. Let me go to Carol quickly. I do this right by going to Carol quickly. The notebook. I this is key right to, here. Uh, uh, Quigley, uh, and I want you to uh, hear this uh, that Quigley was saying. Uh, Quigley is now talking about uh, Rose and Rothschild. Uh, and uh, Ro uh, Roseberry replaced his father-in-law, Lord Rothschild, and Rhodes' secret group and was made a trustee under Rhodes' next and last will. Roseberry tried to obtain a route for Rhodes' railway uh, to the north across the Belgian Congo. Rose Roseberry also informed of Rhodes' plan to finance an uprising of the English with the, against the Boers and sent Dr. Jameson on a raid in that country to restore order. And finally, Rhodes found the money to finance uh, Kitch, uh, Kitchener's railway from Egypt to Uganda uh, using the South African gauge uh, and uh, engines given by Rhodes. The economic strength which allowed Rhodes to do these things rested in the diamond and gold mines. Anyway, it goes on to say this, in spite of the terms of Rhodes' will, this is uh, Quigley apologizing for the white supremacist attitudes of Rhodes. In spite of the terms of Rhodes' will, Rhodes himself was not a racist, <laughs> nor was he a political Democrat. He worked as easily and closely with Jews, black natives, or Boers as he did with English. But he had a passionate belief in the value of a liberal education and was attached to a restricted suffrage uh, and even to non-secret ballot. In South Africa, he was a staunch friend of the Dutch and of the blacks and found his chief political support among the Boers until at least 1895 and wanted, and wanted restrictions on natives put on educational rather than color basis. These ideas have generally been held by his group since and have played an important role in British imperial history. Well, you see, that's a contradiction there. Imperialism is disrespect for other people. It's a form of colonialism. You can't be an imperialist, uh, you can't be an imperialist uh, integrationist. You know, that's a contradiction. Just like sovereign citizens, a contradiction, right? <clears throat> he, he was about to talk about your boy, 
William T. Steed. It's all contradiction. Uh, so I want you to appropriately remember that Quincy had nothing against anything that uh, Rhodes did and Rothschild. This is not an expose. This is almost a laudatory comment about them as opposed to an expose. Uh, and it says um, his greatest weakness rested in the fact that his passionate attachment to his goals made him overly tolerant in regard to methods. He did not hesitate to use either bribery or force to attain his ends if he uh, be, if he judged that they would be effective. This weakness led to his greatest errors. Now, interestingly enough, in reading about the Rockefellers, uh, the founding of the Rockefeller dynasty and money in the Rockefeller syndrome by Ferdinand Lundberg, who also wrote The Rich and the Super Rich, uh, Rockefeller himself did not drink. The old man was a, uh, a, a fornicator, child molester, medicine man. The son, the son did not drink, did not smoke, did not uh, go for any form of entertainment. It was only Bible reading and oil. Junior, Bible reading and oil. So, the, but it says that though he was a strict moralist, he would bribe the railroads to not allow his competitors to get a favorable rate. He would secretly buy up the competition and not let, let the public know that he owned all sides of the same coin. So he's called a moralist, but admitted he used devious devil techniques to accomplish his goals. So now, what are we confronted with here? Rhodes is an imperialist, but a fair man. No, we're... <laughs> what do you call this? For a tongue that whites can speak on both sides on the same thing, be diametrically opposed to each other, and find nothing wrong with having both opposites. Right. <laughs> See, so Rose, he said talk that about Rose, well, his original statement was that Rose was an important man because but anyway those are the Cecil Rhodes um scholar the Rhodes scholars the Rhodes scholarships that I was talking about earlier those are the scholarships that were the um that's the guy that Steve Coakley is talking about Cecil Rhodes when he keeps saying Rhodes 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 that's the guy who was who, but but Steve Coakley, he he going to talk about that too in this same video. But Cecil Rhodes, who never slept with a woman in his life, this man would only have sex with like he was gay, he was gay. This man it was a gay dude. Look, look, this is this who's dominant in the world too. <laughs> this is what's bugging me out. This is gay dude who would have sex with South Africans on this cliff at the at the diamond mines. And he would kick him over the cliff after he had sex with him. He would kick him over the cliff because he only wanted to have sex with the same guy one time. That's that's Cecil Rhodes. And that's who these people getting these Rhodes scholars from. And if you Google Cecil Rhodes just regularly, you ain't got to type nothing in. There's already people in South Africa trying to take down his statues and stuff over there because they know that this guy is not who he's saying he is. But this this all goes to the leader of those round tables whose guards or gatekeeper is the boule. Yeah. This is where it's all stemming from, right here. Mm -hmm. They played them though. They really did a messed up. Oh, there was another um, timestamp on this one, I think. No, I think that's the only one. The rest of them is all on that other video. Oh, okay. Yeah, that Signify. That Signify video was letting you know all of the Europeans who've been backing 
this black boule stuff. And the people just so they're just blind. They just can't see. Steve Coakley put in all these years, put you on game. You still missing it? It's your own. Stop looking around like some Europeans, the evil, whatever. <clears throat> it's your own. Playing you. You can play that. You can play it from the, where wherever one you want. He kills it in all of these. Every one, every one of the clips. <laughs> you can play it from the beginning. You can whatever you want. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Thank you. From far and near, you've traveled here over a rough and rocky road to reach the open portals of Sigma Pi Phi blessed abode. Our hearts, our homes, to you belong, and glad we are that you have come to share our fellowship song, to share our fellowship song. Each Archon who has dared to taste of the cup that threatened death, dear Sigma Pi Phi will defend with his life and dying breath. Should any, any for a Greek assail, his cunning words shall not avail. Our ears are deaf to envy's tale, even deaf to envy's tale. Hear that? They're saying, y'all going to jam us for being a Greek. And we're telling you now, we can't hear this shit. And we won't listen to this shit. Because we'll defend what we are to the death. Long as you call a decision, I'll bring you the game. I'm going to read that again. Because there's symbolism in here that we have yet to fully decodify. It says, each archon who has dared to taste of the cup that threatened death. In the ritual, they must use some cup with some liquid to symbolize something. And say, you tell. That's poison in the cup. Dear Sigma Pi Phi will defend with his life. And dying breath, should any for a Greek assail, they put Greek in quotation marks, for any, for any, should any for a Greek assail, his cunning words shall not avail. Our ears are deaf to envy's tale, even deaf to envy's tale. Though elsewhere bickerings annoy, here at least are peace and joy, where friendships built on faith abound, Strife and discord near are found. Then drink together, Archon's dear, the cup of fellowship and cheer. For as the apple of the thigh as of the eye is to us, Sigma Pi Phi. For as the apple of the eye is to us, Sigma Pi Phi. The apple of the eye. What do that mean? He's the best thing to him. The, the apple of my eye. You know, that's the prettiest thing. Like the prettiest girl or something. It's the best thing that could ever happen. Mm. Now, the, mm. other, the other thing when they say the house, the, the boat, the yacht, the cars. The death from the cup. That, that's what that symbol you had. The skull and cross. That's the poison symbol. It's on everything. Yeah. The cup, the cup is the cup. representative of the grave. Of the grave? Grail. 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 It's interesting that he brought up the word that the cup is symbolic of the grail. Because what we found out is, is that when you're a skull and bones, when you go over, you're called a knight. <laughs> and the knight is symbolic of the knight of the round table. And that that round table is the code word or the buzzword for an upper, upper secret society that's in a book called Anglo-American Establishment, written by Carol Quigley. And in that book, he said, in the opening, 
that that secret society of which the Rhodes Scholars come from is known as several names. This society has been known at various times as Milner's Kindergarten, as the Round Table Group. Okay, just hold it right there. Look at that page a second if you can read it, because that page is very significant to the discussion of who it is might be the ones that the boule has to cover for. In other words, they're covering for something. Now, we know whatever they're covering for is beastly. Check. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to that. Okay. Now, that's from Carol Quigley's book. That was the guy who Clinton thanked during his inauguration. I mean, not during not, when he won the Democratic convention, he thanked Carol Quigley in his speech. He said, Carol Quigley is the guy that got me over to Yale. I mean, got me to, to uh, Oxford. And it was Carol Quigley, who we showed here, has been called the Joe Malachi of political secret societies by his buddies for revealing the fact that the uh, that uh, there was such a secret society. I thought it was interesting that in the con if I do reading that, yeah. well, I've said it every lecture I ever had a lecture. Now we only better collaborate with the ones who we were always after. So I know we got these suckers. In the book by Manly Palmer Hall on the flower plant, plants, fruits, and trees, there was a tree showing the Knights of the Round Table. What I thought was interesting when I looked at the tree carefully is that in your mind, we always thought about the tree in 12. But if you look carefully, it says the tree of the Knights of the Round Table, you find out that there are one knight, two knights, three knights, four knights, five knights, six knights, seven knights, eight knights. Nine nights. Those nine represent the symbolic nine that's used in the Grecian Sphinx, which we'll be talking about shortly. Point is, your own. It's always your own. Funded by some modern Europeans. Keeping you in servitude. Not giving you the reference point of Noble Drew Ali. And tell you everything else. Not giving you the reference point of Mars. They're not going to go to the second convention, though. They're going to go there. I'm going to go to the second convention, 1921, <laughs> 21, the handwriting is on the wall, you see it as plain as day, you see it coming out of India, the tribes of India rising in rebellion against their overlords. You see it coming out of Africa, our dear motherland Africa, the Moors rising and rebelling against their overlords and defeating them at every turn. According to the last report flashed in this country from Morocco by the Associated Press, the Moors have again conquered and subdued the Spanish hordes. The same Associated Press flashes to us the news that there is a serious uprising in India and the English people are marshalling their troops to subdue the spirit of liberty, of freedom, which is now permeating India. The news has come to us, and I have a cable in my pocket that comes from Ireland, that the Irish are determined and have liberty, and nothing less than liberty. The League of Nations, the handwriting is on the wall, and as we go back to our respective homes, we shall serve notice upon the world that we are also coming, coming with a united effort, coming with a united determination, a determination that Africa shall be free from coast to coast. I have before me the decision of the League of Nations. Immediately after the war, a council of the League of Nations was called. And at the council, they decided that the territories wrested from Germany in West Africa, taken from her during the conflict, 
should be divided between France and England, 608,000 square miles, without even asking the civilized Negroes of the world what disposition shall be made of their own homeland, of their own country. An insult was hurled at the civilized Negroes of the world when they thus took upon themselves the right to parcel out and apportion as they pleased 608,000 square miles of our own land, for we never gave it up. We never sold it. It is ours. They parceled it out because these two nations, England and France, gave away our property without consulting us. And we are aggrieved and we desire to serve notice on civilization and on the world that 400 million Negroes are aggrieved. And then you research. And you realize You realize that it's interesting when you hear certain people in their speeches and then you start researching them and you realize that it's always their own. Now, why were they successful? Because of their own. Their own in these boule whatevers you could draw Ali, you could say it, same thing went down with him. They ain't no different. It's just boule with fesses on in the open. It's still boule. Islam Green Sheet. Please more. That was the um Marcus Garvey one? Yeah. Now when they speak of Marcus Garvey, they make it seem like he never even knew of the word more. Mm -hmm. He didn't yeah. even know who more like Marcus Garvey that more never heard of Moors, never heard of the prophet, none of that. But then you read an article and the Marcus Garvey is talking about Moors. El Haj talk about Moors. And I don't it, but nobody talks about this. Uh, like, Grand Sheik, like, Moors are the only ones that being to, to the forefront that these leaders back in the day was talking about Moors. And that's that student, and that's the international talk. That's nationality. Because you know once you go international, you have to have a nationality. Mm -hmm. And once you have a nationality, that's more. That's why they tell them Boule members you can't talk international or nation or nationality because that's they death talk. As soon as they start talking about that, it's bye bye time. Yeah, once they kill them, that, that's how you know that they were they were in. No. So. In, F, in effect, Du Bois wanted to push shining examples of black citizenry front and center for white America to see. People so accomplished that it would be hard to deny them their rightful place in society. Du Bois later felt that Garvey's program of complete separation, which was a form of surrender to white supremacy, threatened the gains made by organizations such as the NAACP and Boulé. Hence, the boys started an active campaign aimed at getting Garvey out, starting with Boulay. The boys stressed, according to Coakley, the importance to steal the black professional away from Garvey because an Afrocentric organization that articulated and captured the black professional would give Whitey no safe haven in the black community. So the boule, the remaking of the house Negro, was necessary to build a group of Negroes who had an investment in protecting the white system 
as produced by Whitey to having stolen this land. This is post reconstruction, taking away an articulate Negro now desiring to replace them with organized institutions to keep them away from self-government. Keep them away from what? Oh, from self-improvement. Keep them away from self-improvement. So if you're never getting better, if you're never evolving, then what? What's the sense? The boy would later campaign against one of his worst critics, Garvey, including investigating controversies surrounding Garvey's Black Star Line, an all-black steamship company. In the long run, Garvey was accused of running the company into liquidation. He was quickly convicted. Why? Because of his own. Because of his own selling them out. Because that's what your own does to you. That's what they do. They sell you out. You ain't going to wake up or, you know, keep keep getting the abuse. Real simple. Islam, Green Sheik. Islam, more. Quick question. Um, since, since the um, Black Star Line, which was a shipping company, for international trade, has there has there been any other so-called you know black people <laughs> shipping company that has done any international trade since Garvey's Black Star Line? Not, not that I know of, because like they say, they're the show me people. So if they did it, they would have showed you that they did it. Exactly, and my and my and my thing too. That's a whole nother thing that we're dealing with. With see, I don't, and me too. Me, I'm one of those too. I don't be thinking. I don't think we give Marcus Garvey his like with the prophet. You know how we be like we we don't know what the prophet bought us until we start studying and we be like, dang man, this is crazy. And even like the stuff that Marcus Garvey did back in the day with that Black Star Line, he's back doing international trade. Yeah. You know what I mean? But now you're with that international trade, you're you're challenging the rock the the Cecil Rose, the round table group, because they're they're controlling the trade right now. Yeah, the yeah. whole Mediterranean spice yeah. trade, whatever, they're controlling it. Yeah. And the only person that's gonna come challenge them right now is Marcus Garvey. Yep, twenties. Twenties doing that. It's Marcus Garvey. There hasn't been there hasn't been one since. I think the distraction with the whole back to Africa thing is the reason why they like to bring it up with the Black Star Line ship with the Black Back to Africa because it's a it's a throw you off that he was really connecting you back to international trade, you know, bring bringing us back into what was really going on because. Liberia was one of the first places that they had colonized when they started taking over there. And I was one. And now I'm like, well, that makes sense for Marcus Garvey to go out of all the places in Africa. Why Liberia? And it's because that's where Cecil Rose and them was going first. That's where they was going to go colonize. And Garvey was on their behind with the Black Star Line, with the international trade. He went straight for the guzzler. But nobody like you have to go see it. Like you gotta, you, like but you gotta put it all together. Like Steve Coakley do. You gotta do the Steve Coakley because it's not together. Because they want us to believe it's the back to Africa, and, and I don't. What I'm starting to see, it was for international trade. Yeah. Yeah. And he he was cha he was challenging, he was going at the round table. Yeah, that's what he was doing. He was going he was going after the big boys, but he knew there was a group of people, the talent and Tim, the boule, 
who was in his way, and he called him out. Exactly. And that's the point. That's the point why we're giving honor to him. Because he called him out. Peace. 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 Uh, I'm just going to wait till y'all got situated. Y'all got time. Because uh, I'm going to need a um, few seconds to read what I was going to read, uh, show you my sources and everything um, on behalf of the subject. Uh, I, I wasn't speaking on uh, anything with uh, Copley, um, but I just wanted to mention and speak on the fact that uh, Noble Drew Ali <clears throat> was, in fact, a Mason. Um, and there's more ways than one that I'm going to show it. I'm going to read a few things. If you have the time to allow me to read these uh, two things. Um, and in doing so, if you if you will give me the opportunity to read. Um, and that's for anybody with an open mind that would like to hear. And I'll show you exactly where I'm getting everything from, my books and everything. Um, but I do want people to keep in mind um, when we're talking about masonry, uh, when we're talking about Freemasonry, uh, and, and whether people were initiates or whether they were uh, on any uh, censuses or any Western census, even though he was an Egyptian adept and studied in the East, um, that was like a frivolous, that was like irrelevant for that person to state that. Um, but anyways, when we talk about- What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean What do you mean? an Egyptian adept is frivolous? What do you mean by that? No, no. I said when, when the brother kept stating um, that there's no census record of Noble Drew Ali in attendance in any Masonic orders in the in Western Masonry. He's talking yeah, about the Western. He's talking about the Western Hemisphere. There isn't. Find find Noble Drew Ali's name in some Western Freemasonry. Right. He went to, he went through the mystery schools and everything in the East. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So so, so there wouldn't be no census record of uh, Noble Drew Ali in any temples or lodges in the Western Hemisphere. So yeah, we, that's, that's his point. That's why he's not a Mason, because you're not going to find his name in any records. So you're saying that there's not Masons in uh, Oriental countries? No, we're, say, we're saying show show the record that Noble Drew Ali was a Mason. I don't care about Orientals. No, okay. About so no, my, no, the only thing that I wanted to address about that when he made that claim was, did he ever say that he checked the census on the Eastern? No, no, we're, we're, not, we're not talking about, we're talking about... Okay, okay so... Western okay, so, Freemasonry. Okay, we're talking so, about we're talking about about what Steve Coakley was talking about. All these fraternities or whatever. Find Noble Juali's name in that. Find Noble Juali in some Prince Hall, Prince Hall Freemason, Black Mason, whatever. You're not gonna find it because Noble Juali is, is a prophet. Why would he? Why would he want to be a Mason? Okay, so why would the prophet have to be a Mason? Boy? Hold on, hold on. I mean. Let me set my phone down. Yeah, because that's I think I think we need to play the video okay. again. So like play the play the video with Brother with Rich and Brother and with so James Small. Because they call they uh, call them a, a, a black prince hall mason. Is a vocation. It is a skill. It is something, it is something that a person ascends to and reaches. It's a title. Okay. And so I'm me personally, this is for me. Okay. And this is me stating this. Anybody that was given that title in any of these holy books all went through these mystery schools. They all achieve this vocation, okay? This degree of knowledge, okay? So let me read real fast, okay? And I'm, I'm gonna read this. I'm reading from, if you can see, let me see. Okay, this is The Guide for the Perplexed by Moses Maimonides, a Moorish Jew. Okay, <clears throat> please bear with me. Okay, <clears throat> any person, irrespective of his physical or moral qualifications, may be summoned by the Almighty to the mission of a prophet. Prophecy is the highest degree of mental development and can only be attained by training and study. So if he's a if in, 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 in these so if he's a, orders, if he's a, the training and the study. No, no, hold on a second. 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 Because 
You're not gonna come yeah. on here. That's crazy. And be teaching. Look, 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 look at them. This is how much ego these people have. You know how much ego they have. You know how much ego they have. Look. Look how much ego they have. They're not even listening to what's going on. They're not even being heard right now. He doesn't even know that he's muted right now. God's will, this dependence hey. is nothing else but the hey. relation which all things bear Yo. to primal cause. For the act Can of you hear me? acts in conformity with the laws established by the me? will of God. What the hell are you talking about? What's he going to teach me about some prophet or whatever? What's he going to teach me about some prophet or whatever? Where is the evidence? Are you telling me about why are you reading prophet stuff? Look, still going. Just talk, just talking to himself in a room. Yeah, that's crazy, Green Sheet. You mean he's not? You mean he, he? So his volume is down, so he can't hear me. But he's just talking, so he can be heard, or what? I don't get what's going on here. Yeah, that's crazy. Cause I have him muted, so. So there, so should we're be. not gonna. Are we gonna green sheet? So there's no document to see if Nova Jawali was on it. Something, but I'm not entertained with what he's reading like that because teachers and, and things of that nature who have it. Oh, oh man, damn! That's what we've been trying to tell you for the past ten minutes. You can't. You're not even hearing us yelling at you. We can't hear you. Mm -hmm. Please, you there? It pinched you or is it what? Please. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on. You talking to me, Green Sheet? No, I'm talking to this more over here that you, oh, can't, okay. you can't hear anything. Yo, you can hear? Yeah, I'm there. Can you hear me? We, we've been here. You, could you hear us? Yeah, can you hear us? Yeah. Get out and get back in. But look, right? We don't have to do anything. Jolly deal with this stuff on the soul plane. We ain't. You know what I mean? Jolly do this on the soul plane. What makes me a Grand Sheik? I was voted Grand Sheik 2008 by the Arab Chamber. Oh, there you go. I was voted, I was voted to be Grand Sheik for Canaan land by the Arab Chamber. 8126 South Cottage Grove, 2008. Because in 2008, went to Chicago to see what this Moore stuff was about. And those Moors said, there's going to be all these traders and sellouts or whatever like that. There's going to be all these traders and sellouts that's going to try to tell you you don't have the authority. Right? Here's your charter. Here's nationality card. Here's all the literature that you need. Here's all the DVDs that you that you need. Here's all the books that you need. Here's the here's the Bobby Hammett book list. Make sure you get all these books on here. Make sure you watch those DVDs. Here's every phone number of any more who we trust or whatever like that. So you can call them and get yourself established. And that was 2008. We're still here today. We're still here. So we're not the ones to, you know, be asking questions to. Ask questions to the people who haven't been doing anything. Right, ask them questions. You can hear now? Yeah, peace, peace. My bad. I don't even know. 
My, I don't even know. My phone just went out and it ain't even dead. So the my point, phone, you I, heard some of what you were saying, but what we're getting at is where's the proof that no withdrawal is a mason? That's what, that's, I, how that's what I said. You bear with me. Bear with me. I got no, you. no, you don't, don't. We just want to see the, show me no withdrawal okay. signature okay. On saying that he's a mason. That's, okay. that's all. So, so, so. That's all. This is, this is, I'm going to state this first for the people in the chat um, that are new. Um, that are still no, studying. No, no, no. And, and, not, and, hold on, hold on. Let me. Hold no, on, because they're not here to teach like that. That's not what I'm this saying. Is for. Because you're just saying, you listen, listen, bro. You're saying something no, that people question. just do not know. A person that is initiate, a person that's in masonry or Freemason, yeah. just does not openly say that yeah. they are Mason. Why they, would, that's, why that's, would that's, that's their yeah. law? That's one of their principles. They do not openly that's say that's that a lie. These people have to take an attendance. That's a lie. What do you mean? No, that's they not have what to keep record about who in there. They listen. have to keep record. Open in public, in public, a, 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 a Freemason or Mason is not finna walk down the street and say, "Yeah, I'm a uh, Prince Hall Master Mason 32." They're not. They're not gonna say that because they're trained not to what say. Does that. To do? What does that have to do? What does that? No, what okay. does that do? Anything? He's proving what? our point even more. Where so no, show us the document. So where no one draws. Listen, I said be fine. Show me I a said paper. be patient because I knew you, I knew nobody was gonna be patient and allow me to get to my punchline. No, you don't, no, no, you, you don't get no punchline, uh, but it is a document. I don't understand. That ain't what this is. This is not severe stuff for you. Come on, okay. Here listen, okay, listen. Something. That ain't what this is. I, you said no Jewali is a mason. We just went through a whole thing the where the whole Jewali guy Jewali, 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 Jewali said Jewali that he's not a mason. Okay, and then here you come. Say that again. I said, did Noah Jolly uh, have something, an organization called the Old Canaanite Temple? Yeah. Okay, well, let me read this real quick then. Okay, structurally, Drew was inspired by Garvey's Universal NIA. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. That's, that's, not a, that's not a document. Listen, hence modeling. The more science temple of America, Garvey outlines. What, what, what are you what are you reading from? What are you oh, reading from? Goodness. You gotta say what you're reading from. What's the reference? Okay. What are you reading this, from? This is, uh, this is it's an article in Braille. In Braille, it's it's titled Chapter 29, The More Science Temple of America. At the part that I'm on is, No, but who is this article by? What do you mean you have an article? Who's this uh, article the by? Article, the article was written by Fati Ali Abdat, author. Fati F A T H I E Ali Abdat A B D A T. Okay, and Handbook of Islamic Sex and Movements. That's where you find it at. Handbook of Islamic Sex and Movements. Okay, and the 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 article exactly or the the part that I'm reading from is titled Chapter 29, The Moorish Science Temple of America. Then I'm going to go all the way down. I'm going to scroll all the way down. And that's why I kept asking in your comment, how come uh, even uh, Pleasant Bay in his book didn't mention anything about um, Abdul Hamid Suleiman? Well, why, why, would, why, why? why would he mention? Why would he mention him for? Okay, this, okay, Be because because because, the, the, because the cover up. This is the cover up. The cover up. It's not a right. it's not a cover up. Well, it's it a cover up. Cover up what? Because if you mention if you mention Suleiman. If you mention Suleiman, this is the person where Noble Drew Ali got the Canaanite temple from. This was his teacher, and the, and he was he was teaching masonry. And he and, and he was te and and that was and that was his teacher when? What, what year was his teacher? What year was this? Because let me read, I, bro. Just let, just no, let me no, just let me because no, I don't want no, it to be. I don't. No, 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 because, no, but, no, no, no. Hold on a second. No, 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 no. There is no document. No, 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 no. There is no document, Grand Sheet. No, listen, 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 listen to what I'm telling you. Can you can you answer this one? No, there's a document. We're, we're not we're not we're not doing this this stuff right here, right? This has nothing to do with Suleiman. This has nothing to do with Old Canaanite Temple. When was that founded and all that stuff? That has nothing to do with that. You said Juali is a mason. Show where Juali is a mason. You didn't show anything. You jumped to some different topic reading some different stuff by some by some Muslim who's going to tell me something about Noble Drew Ali? Well, yeah, that's the, prince, that's the princess and the prophet. Muslim telling me about Noble Drew Ali. What are you talking about? He, he Drew, you princess Drew, and the prophet. Drew Ali told all of us, don't let these foreign Muslims on our rostrum. And then you're coming and bringing some Muslim telling me some BS about Noble Drew Ali? 
that has nothing to do with anything? Nothing to do with anything? Jewel is not a mason. If he's a mason, show us something that said he's a mason. If you don't have anything, just say, I don't have anything to show that, and let it go. Stop trying to prove some dumb stuff. Because even if he's a mason, he's still profiting over Jewel. So what's the point of even talking about he's a mason? If you took away all the secrets, and the secrets have to do with masonry. Obviously, there's no masonry going on if the prophet is, is here. Why would there be masonry if the prophet's here? Why would masonry even, even, even have a position? Hold on, listen, listen. I'm not, because you're trying to, I'm, I just have to let me, <laughs> you give me the opportunity to prove my claim. But then you won't let me prove my claim. The reason yeah, why I bring up Sufi is because you're telling me about some Muslim hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. reference. Hold on. You're from Muslim. It's because Suleiman is respond is one person that is identified for being responsible for bringing Noble Ali back into Islam, the Muhammadan creed. He's also responsible for the where Noble Ali got the Canaanite temple name from, because Suleiman ended up getting in, into an issue. Okay, and so he left. Noble Drew Ali and Noble Drew, he left Noble Drew Ali under the under the authority of his Canaanite temple. Okay, that Where's Canaanite that? temple was that? Had, that? was a Masonic. Hold on, it was no, no, you're just talking what you heard. You're just talking what you heard. Prove that you just said you just said that but before you started. You said that that Suleiman it was the founder of the temple, and Noble Drew Ali was part of his thing. Now you're saying. All you have to do is let me now read. Now you're saying. Now you're saying, now you're saying that Suleiman. You don't even know what you're talking about. Listen, listen I, I got, I got much praise and respect and honors for Noble Drew. I, I no, you don't. You. No, you don't. But I'm not. I'm not. I don't worship no man. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, no, no. You know you don't. Upright, independent, and fearless. No, you don't. You stand, no, you don't. How come nobody? You don't in this almost five years, but when it's time to have dialogues and things of that nature, if we're talking information, okay, say, talking say, I am wrong. say I am wrong, if I, if I present it and I'm like, okay, I never heard this, and then I did research in two different places, and I find the same thing coinciding with each other, so I bring it to the floor. I bring it to the floor and I get shot down. That's That, that's, that seems like something's being covered up or something's being hidden. And then, then, the, only, then the only response is, oh, you're, you're, you're still wet behind that's, the ears. That's your, that's your assumption. That's your assumption. That's your assumption. Because because you can because you found out some information. I didn't hear. You. No, I said I'm going to mute you because when I talk, there's like some type of background noise from. Yeah, me. I don't know. What I, I don't know if it's me or what. Pro, pro, it's probably you because we, everything was fine on our side. But. Nobody's taking away that Noble Drew Ali had teachers. Everybody had teachers. Nobody's talking about worshiping Noble Drew Ali or, or he's some type of he's some type of of holy than thou. Oh my God, we gotta do everything that he did before we're that, nobody's not saying that. We're saying Drew Ali's not a Mason. We're saying if 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 we had from from 1913 to 1929 of his existence and there's no record of him there's record of our authority you can go look that up there's record of marsh science temple of america charters there's record of marsh conventions there's record of noble Juali had an office there's records of stuff if there's no record of him being a mason and then he said well i'm going to take away all the secrets and then people are secretly bringing up that he's a mason now in order to tie him to some bs that they're doing it ain't happening we're not letting that bs go down because we know that he's okay, the okay. Okay. okay so so with just to make this fair because everybody doesn't study okay and for some of us that do study and do research some stuff you just can't just pull over like certain things you just can't pull over my head and i'm just going to take it without me doing my own research so just like when the brother kept saying Western masonry and Western, okay, show me 
records. Show me the records. Show the records. Show me the records of the Chiefs. Right. Right. Everybody knows about Western Hold, hold on. Hold on, hold on <laughs> because y'all keep saying this, but everybody's, but all everybody's also standing on the fact that he went to school at all of these mystery schools in the East. He did the same thing that Jesus did, which Jesus Masonic orders. The mystery school is in the, in the Masonic order. Period. I don't care. You can't pull it listen, over my head because I study. I do my listen, own research. Listen, all of these listen, mystery schools and listen. data chambers are in. Masonic. Listen, listen, so, listen. So, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're, you have it backwards. You have it backwards. You're thinking mas masonry is the authority. Masonry is not the authority. The science is the authority. That's not what I'm saying. It is masonry. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. You're not listening. This why. This why. This is why. This is why. We don't. We don't get what we're supposed to get done, done. Because people are too busy trying to prove their point that doesn't matter. Yeah, because they be trying to cover up if they are Mason or not. And so also, so also, if 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 Dry Lee, one of his missions was to pull the veil off of the secret societies, how was the mission? You lied. You just lied. That wasn't a mission. Yeah. If you don't mind, yo, are you a Mason? I think I can't hear what you say. Are you a Mason? No, I ain't taking over to nothing. Oh, okay. I was just wondering. Now now under the under the Moors, under the Moors Oscars of my son, if you if you want to say that, yeah. Yeah, we all are. I can rock with that. Rock with we that. all are. Yeah, right I, under that under that context, I can I can rock with that. Okay, so so why can't you rock? So why can't so why can't you rock with Drew Ali under that context? I didn't say that again. Why can't you rock with Drew Ali under that same context? That he's okay, a for this reason, for this and he's the son of his mother. No, 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 no. That's a great question. Okay, and this is for this reason. Okay, because there's more like myself come who come into this. Okay. And then when we come into this, we see these gatekeepers, people who talk about they got 15 well, that's years. That's what we've been talking about for two hours. What are you talking about? That's what we've been talking about for two hours, the gatekeepers. How the hell are you coming in here and then talking about no Drew Ali a gatekeeper? Hold, hold on. You ask the question. No, you're I'm trying to ask me a question. Oh, so no Drew Ali is a gatekeeper? No, 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 no. Because you're saying... Listen, listen. We've been talking about what you're talking about, what you're talking about, gatekeepers. We've been talking about that for the past two hours. So you're not gonna come in here and sound smart talking about some gatekeeper, Masonic, whatever. We just spoke about that for two hours. You you've been on here trying to prove a point that you can't prove. And you're so you're, so you're telling me so you're, you're telling me, so you're telling me you went to the adept chambers. You went through the adept chambers and you end up learning the same information that the first person that came into the RV Bay publications and start ordering books got. Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're telling no, me? No, that's why that's why Noble Drew Ali is the prophet. That's why he's the prophet. That's what makes him the prophet. And we regular. <laughs> and we regular. We regular. Uh, we I, can't I, do I, what I, he I do. I comprehend that prophet is a is a is a vocation. It's, it's something. It's something that he had to work to get. It's something that he had to practice. No, 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 no. See, that's the problem. You're doubting your prophet. I hear you. What do you mean he, mean he wasn't? The, he's called the prophet, but he wasn't the prophet. What do you mean? What do you mean he had to prove something. What do you have to prove? Can prove the who? They said it. He. They simply walked past that man. I didn't hear you. You know what? You're out of here. Yeah, yeah, that's a lost cause right there, Green Sheet. That was crazy. We're jumping around too much. Jumping all over the place. Stick to the point. Is he a Mason or not? If he's not, then we're done with it. And we never saw a document. We never saw the document. These people got documents. Like I said, they can pull up who started Prince Hall in the 1700s. Yep. We asked him to pull up the document that the prophet was a Mason. Oh, he got in. He was he did it over there when he was in the East. Okay. Learn from this other Mason, so that means yeah, the, the Arabs, the Muslim guy, the Sunni guy. You ever heard of the? It's like brother, you got the document 
or no? Oh, here, let me read this. You got the document or no? Y'all gotta let me. You got the document or no? <laughs> like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Nobody just comes out and says that they're a Mason. Exactly. It's we get the document with them taking attendance saying that they are Mason. Or we got pictures of them in their memorabilia. We don't just come out and say, oh, they told us that they was a Mason. We yeah, ain't yeah. saying that. Yeah, yeah. We, we ain't saying that at all. Research, we we, we have never said that. Yeah, we did research and found out that these people are Mason. I'm not going to just lie on somebody and say they're Mason. That, like, where did he get that from? That was crazy to say. So people just come out openly and say, that, no, no. No, they don't. That's why we get pictures of them and we get their attendance record. And then, and then the other, and then the whole the other thing about it is, don't try to, don't try to, to prove a point that you can't prove. Don't tell me about Suleiman and ancient Egyptian whatever when we already know that. That he was the Egyptian Arab. What if even if he's an Egyptian Arab, why would he be a Mason? Why are you gonna be a, why are you gonna be a Mason if you're an Egyptian Arab? Which is what the Masonry stuff is founded on. Oh, you finally did it, huh? You're a great sheik. You know, I don't, I don't like being on here with this guy, man. So, like, oh. I'm a yield. And go um we get him out of here then. get him out of here well, okay. frustration <laughs> yeah i really i can't be on there with him man that's he a waste of my my nostrils breathing in and out my 636 like i can't even i can't i can't even waste that on that i can it's steve coakley day you know what i mean right we we talking about something bigger way bigger than that that's just something to beat up on when we bored just because we're you, bored. You know, we this Steve Coakley day. We I'm looking for I thought James Smalls pushed the button. I'm like, yeah, that's what I wanted. James Smalls. He not I want a boule member to come on here and show me the handshake. Yeah, that's what I want. We just we just had two. We just had two. Show us the handshake. We just had two. And they didn't do what they were supposed to do. Not showing the handshake. I'm not sure. I, I want to see the handshake. If they, if they don't go, if they if they're not doing that, if they're not revealing it, if they're still concealing it, f them. Because because it's I'm I'm really I'm really frustrated how they just tried to do the the ritual. Yeah, under, under my Steve, yo. I'm telling you, that is really bothering me. How they because you know they can they can be doing this to all of the elders and we don't even know it. You know what I mean? Like what what else is going on? You know, you could be break you could be breaking the um the curses, this the rituals they've been doing for years with Noble Juali, but as soon as you or any other du jour Morris who's been celebrating the prophets birthday we y'all been breaking that curse ever since then you know what i mean because it's just coming to light that we know what you ali in his civic side not just well not the side that they teach with the church side it's not even more science that they're teaching they're they're teaching church noble Juali, christian dogmatized christian noble Juali in the so-called temples now. They're not even teaching more science. Mm -hmm. All right, Juali is an Egyptian Adept student. He's an Adept student, he'd probably be on some masonry BS. He's an Adept student. He already mastered the Adept stuff and he's still a student. Probably on some masonry. 
There's no need. These I don't know why. If, why would you want your prophet to be a mason? Why? What, what, what is the point of, of him being a mason? What does that prove? Like, how does that make you feel feel better? Him being a mason than him being a prophet? Uh -oh, uh -oh. Right, all they're doing is, is, is trying. Trying. You can try, but it's not going down over here. Go on, go on to beer and do that stuff. Bro. Now, Steve Coakley never even mentioned Noble Jew Ali being a Mason. Steve Coakley called out everybody who was a Mason. He called he called out the friend. He called out all of them who were a Mason. Every one of them. His friends. His friends that was right next to him. He was Boule. He 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 told that um Cap um Cap Khalid Khalid was a Sigma Phi Pi fraternity. He he told that. Steve Kobe told that. These is his friends. And he said it. These these people, all, all of them took the oath. But he never said no which Ali took no oath. He never said nothing about him. Never said nothing about him. Him or Marcus Garvey. Or L. Hodge, because they did try to sneak in there and say that um, Mal Malcolm X, you know, they love that Malcolm X. Really? They tried to say that he was a Mason. I'm not saying, I just saying, I have never seen the documentation that mm -hmm. Malcolm X was a Prince Hall Mason. I would like to see that. Yeah. I, would I, would, I would like to see that. Maybe a Freemason if Freemasons study more science. So that means if they're studying more science, then that means more science is superior, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, so if they're studying, if Freemasons are studying more science, then that means that Freemasons are trying to be Moors. But then Moors are study more science, they're not being themselves, they're trying to be Freemasons. How does, how does that make sense? How does that? Every more, every more is not a Negro, but every mm. is not a more. Some Negroes sold their birthright so they could stay Negroes. Yeah. Ask Abdullah Bey what Rose Reed. Like, or push the button. Don't hide in the chat. Click, click the link. No, you're not going to let me talk. Well, if you're full of BS, why would, it, why would we let you talk? Why people get kicked off this thing? That's Abdullah. Ask Abdullah. Ask Abdullah what? If, if Noble Jew Ali was a Mason, Abdullah got the document. Yeah, Abdullah got the document. Abdullah. It better be a document. I don't want to hear. I don't even want to hear what. If you look at the word etymology, I don't want to hear that. I want to see the document. Because then again, if, if, it's, if it goes back to any etymology, I'm pretty sure it's back to Muslim son, which shows that we are all Masons or whatever. But if we talk in Prince Hall, uh, Skull and Bones, Round Table, yeah, I want to see those documents. I want to see that. I want. I want. You got a charter from England or something like that? Yeah. On Noble Jewelry, I want to see that. I I, I want to see that. Please, I want to see that. Fine, fine. Show me, show me, show me something that Suleiman signed saying Noble Jewali is a Mason. Yeah, I even take that. I want to see that attendance record. So, Canaanite, the old, the first, the, the what they say, the real Canaanite temple. I want to see that. <laughs> that Suli started before Noble Jewali. 
that got Noble Drew Ali as a student there as a Mason. I, I want to see that too. I'll take that. Yeah. That's a good one, Grand Sheik. Yeah. Let me see that. Yo, just keep that in mind. See, Steve Cook. And with Steve Cook, when he used to do lectures, right? People used to get up, walk out. People used to make noises in the middle of his lectures. And he would call all that out. Like, yeah, this is about the time that y'all would start walking out. Like, we we must have did something, said something, where all the trolls came out at the same time, Grand Sheet. Yeah, yeah, that's how that's it. that Steve Copley part. That's that that's that Copley part right there. I'm like I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving it. All the trolls came out right at the same time. Same time. That's that Copley that's that Copley energy right there. Yep. He was he was known for doing that. Yeah. Can't make people right. just get up and walk out. He'll say it right here. He's like, yeah. That would that's the part that people usually start walking out here. Yep. He was he was known for doing that. Can't make people right. just get up and walk out. He'll say it right here. He's like, yeah. That would that's the part that people usually start walking out here. He yeah, was bro. known for doing yeah. that. Can't make people right. just get up and walk out. He'll say it right here. He's like, yeah. That would that's. You see, Rose, you have to turn down your stuff over there. Because you're a fetus. Shouldn't even be pushing the thing to come on here. Should have humbled yourself. Now you're looking crazy. Your stuff is all behind, lagging. So you're getting stuff late. Then you're going to say, we're the ones. Because we are talking. When, look at you. Look at you. So hopefully you turned on your stuff. And you're all not lagging anymore. Talk so, when look at you. Look at you. So hopefully you turned on your stuff and you're all not lagging anymore. Talk so, when look, here. look, look at you. So hopefully you turned on your stuff and you're all not lagging anymore. Look, look. This is what this is what we're talking about. Like everybody just gets cussed out. You just don't care. Just lynch everybody. <laughs> just lynch everybody. As soon as I say something crazy, put, 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 the, put the rope around there. Yep. Yeah. Cause the Co Steve Co Steve Coakley laid all this information out in the 90s. Prophet came in 1920s. And Smalls is up there talking about in 2022 that we need to give these, we can't give a baby steak. We got to give them baby food, brother. What are, you, what are you talking about now? Get out of here, Rose. Get out of here. Get out of here. Like I took, when, it, when is these babies going to grow up and not eat and not need baby food no more? When are they going to start eating some adult food? These, like I said yesterday in, in, in the class, these ain't babies no more. These babies don't need no more pampers. These is grown men and women that need some depends. They need to get some de depends now. <laughs> Walking around just making a mess. That's what they're doing now. That's all they're doing now. Steve Steve Coakley called out all of the sellouts. Every one of them. Every time. Killed them. Every time. Every time. Every, every time. And, and anybody who would make some noise who was broke, he would just, he would be like, how much money they make? Uh, then, and and, and it, it, pointless. And I'm thinking about um, any anybody who's trying to cause confusion just for a like. Yep. Anybody that's trying to cause confusion just to be looked at, you ain't even getting nothing. At least sell out like the Black Lives Matter women and get you a mansion or something. <laughs> at least do that. Y'all doing it j j just for a like. Oh, look, my views is going, my, my subscribers is going up. Brother, you just selling out. That's, you did all of that to sell out. 
And that, now you got people's children confused. We can't get out of this mess we in. All because you your rap career flopped and now you mad at Morris. Yeah. But they got to rem remember, though, those boule, they marry each other. They marry each other in, in their families. Those societies marry each other. Or other aristocratic so-called Negro families, they marry each other. They marry in each other's families. So don't don't think some of these peoples from the 1800s sell, sold out whose children's children's children exist today who making videos about, oh, we're not Moors or the prophet didn't teach this. And go find out who some of them people are. I saw Steve Coakley in one of the videos talking about, oh, yeah, Brother Bay. He a 33rd degree Mason. I was in here talking. This Steve Coakley talking. He was in there talking to some stu some to some other Masons, and they were teaching him the codes. Brother Bay walks in and tells the students if they keep messing, I mean, telling Steve Coakley the codes, that they was going to cut their tongues out. This Brother Bay, a more. I kept saying over and over and over again, who is this Brother Bay? Who is this Brother Bay? I'm watching Grand Sheik happen just like this. Mm -hmm. I'm watching... I'm watching C. Freeman L. one day. He said, oh, okay. Oh, we got a special guest that just walked in. Emilia L. and Brother Bay. I said, now look at that shit there. Camera turned right to him, Brother Bay. I said, there he is. I asked for you. Look at you. Emilia L. and Brother Bay. Neither one of them had a fez on. They was in there looking like Negroes at C. Freeman L.'s lecture. Hmm. That's real. I was, looking, I was looking right at looking right at him. I said, look, yeah. And y'all came together too. Look. Came right in there. Brother Bay. Moors who make Masons selling out. Infiltrated. They work they everything. 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 But those, th this is in the '90s. This before Taj is going crazy. You know what I mean? You still there's Bays and L's walking around, but they're not teaching civics. They're not saying this Morocco. You know what I mean? No, nobody's going around doing that. We had to wait for Brother Hakeem and Taj and all of them to come, and then we started hearing those those references. We had to wait for them to come, but there was Bays and L's around because <laughs> see, because see, Freeman L pointed. He said, there goes Emilia Hill right there and Brother Bay. He said it just like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Brother Bay. Brother Bay, 33rd. Told them, told them other Masons if they keep telling Steve Coakley the secrets, they was going to cut their tongue out. I said, now look at that. Steve And Steve Coakley told it. Told the story. All right, so all the truth that Drew Ali told, he should probably have his tongue cut out, right? No, absolutely. If, if, absolutely. But um, George G.M. James did. Yeah. There is good, like I said, there's good oath takers, but as soon as they go outside they oath, <laughs> yeah, they're in trouble. You get the George G.M. They're in trouble. No, oh, yeah, absolutely. Right. right. Who who ran? George GM James ran. He ran to South America first and then let his book out. He didn't just let his book out. <laughs> you know, wrote the book and let his book. He ran first and then let his book out. And they still found him. Yeah, man. You know somebody snitched. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We talking about an organization who be married to their wife over 20 years, who don't, who keeps their secrets from their wife for over 20 years or their husband for over 20 years. But a new member can come into their lodge, new, never met in their life. And they got to tell them their deepest secrets.
first day they meet him. Mm-hmm. That's who we. That's who we dealing with. We dealing. We and they supposed to help us. They supposed to help us. You can't even tell your wife what you do and who you are, and but you supposed to help your people. And another thing, Steve Coakley said too. If you go and cheat on your wife or your husband, that means you're cheating on the nation. How are you going to uh, say you honor and love the person who you're supposed to be with, but then when it's time for the revolution, I'm supposed to believe you that you're supposed to be honor and truthful to the nation. You you cheat on the one you love, so I know you ain't going to do shit for us. You know what I mean? So that was that's always stuck to my head like, we you can't even be truthful to our own in front of us, you know what I mean? So let's start that first. Mm-hmm. This is an interesting, this is an interesting one right here. Let's go out for the bars. Just to put this one out for the Mars. In the spirit of Egypt in America. In the spirit of Egypt in America. Mm -hmm. To be a member of the Ku Klux Klan, you must be a white Christian. To be a member of Freemasonry, you you must also be a white Christian. Sorry, now anyone can join, but no Israelite can get to the top of this stolen Egyptian way of worshiping. So if Juali is the Egyptian Adam, and everything in Freemasonry revolves around Islam, and ancient Egyptian knowledge, then that would mean the knowledge predates the club. And that's not the argument. We're not denying that the science is the same. We're saying, where's the papers, where's the documentation to prove that Drew Ali to prove that Drew Ali was in those places called, quote unquote, lodge. Don't tell me something about about some African lodge that's some more over here at. We're not talking about that. We're not concerned about about the stuff that's ours. Now you're concerned about the stuff that's ours. We're not talking about the stuff that's ours. We already know what's ours. Right. We know what's ours. Yep, Green Sheet, real quick, because you 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 just you just struck my reminder too, and it, it's and since it's all ours, it shouldn't be called any Greek anything, because yeah. that's not what we are. We, we're not Greeks. Yeah. So when they try to be like, oh, all of those who are in those Greek fraternities, Boule, part of any of those fraternities, when they try to say. Oh, but it's still African. It's still our stuff and all of that. Well, why haven't y'all changed it back to what it is? Why do y'all still call it Greek fraternities? Why do y'all still call yourself named after nine Greek words? Why why aren't y'all back connected to who y'all saying the original stuff comes from? But like that's my they never went back to that. And that's another question Steve Coakley had asked too. Well, if y'all say it's the African thing, it goes back to our people. Why, even when Prince Hall went to go get, um, because when he went to go get his charter, the first charter, the Europeans wouldn't recognize his charter. He had to go to some other lodge to get recognized as, as but if it was just, if he had to, if it was just y'all own and y'all can just do y'all own thing, you should have just named it after some 
African, you know, Egyptian stuff then and didn't need no permission from any right. lives from Rome. From Rome. Yeah. But, but you didn't you didn't do that. And you still haven't done that. Yeah. You have you, you didn't do it and you still haven't done it. So what Steve Coakley say? That's the crisscross. That's four tongue. Mm -hmm. You guys are saying you're doing one thing here and you're doing this over here. That's that Jesse Jackson when they asked him if he ever, what can he tell us about the CFR and he, the Council on Foreign Relations? He said he never been to a meeting, but he spoke at some. Now, how how you how you do that, Jesse? How you <laughs> how, how you do that, Jesse? What kind of magic is that, Jesse? <laughs> That's that crisscross for a tongue. Steve Cokey talked about it all the time. Yep. Yeah, they're going to reach. <clears throat> they're going to reach. But you know, that's why we're here. Shut their BS down. We already know he's the Egyptian adept, so we already know he had, he had knowledge. Right? They just don't want to give the prophet his credit. He's even, the prophet. He's the guy. Even when we look at even when we look at CMB, he even said he's one. Why wouldn't Jolly say he's one? Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. He's walking around. He's there around the time with the prophet. Like, come on, yo. Why wouldn't he say that he's one? And, and why didn't CMB throw the prophet under the bus? Yeah, call himself reincarnated prophet. How come CMB wasn't reincarnated Nobu Juali? And he could have, he could have, and CMB could have easily in his writings said that Nobu Juali was a Mason. He could have easily put it in there. Like, like his prophet, Nobu Juali, he could have easily said it. He could have easily put it in there. What's the name? What's the name? I know, um, um, what's the what's the teacher's name that's in locked up right now? Been kidnapped for years. Well, was everybody's teacher? Was everybody's teacher? Was polite teacher? Doctor York. Doctor York. York. Doctor York didn't say nothing about Noble Drew Ali being a Mason. <laughs> didn't say anything about the Noble Drew Ali being a Mason. And Dr. York would know. Oh, Dr. Yeah, York? He actually did have that one book, the Noble Drew Ali book, where he, where he, he lied on Noble Drew Ali saying he was. Oh, he did say it. Yeah, yeah. When he was, when he was um, Imam Isa. Yeah. What book. did he say? What did he say? What, what, did he, how, what did he say? Like all the, all the poses and all the gestures and everything comes from masonry. And then, he, so he did say. That no Ali was a Mason? Was a Mason, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Because of the poses. He didn't have no documents neither. No, no, of course not. Of course not. Of course not. <coughs> but he did say it. I stand corrected. It's it's long. It's long. Peace and love to all the Moors. Honors to all the Moors worldwide. FOH to you dirtbags. You have any closing closing remarks, um, Joe Yusuf? Yeah, it's it's um give thanks, Grand Sheik, for for yeah. your um your platform for over the years. You know, like for o over the years, it should be a um, Cannon Land Moore's anniversary thing that we do now because it's been so long. You know, I know since what 2008? Not that long, not that long, 2000, maybe, maybe nine or 10. Yeah, we're talking about 12 year anniversary, yeah. 10, year, 10, 10 year anniversary. Yeah, yeah. You need to, and, and because, and I said because the platform, you know, 
Nobody else is doing this, man. She, sure. You know, letting people come out, come on here, and if you ain't saying the truth, you're getting you're getting thrashed, and people know that. That's why either they don't they don't come on Cannon Land Moors or they don't let Grand Sheet come on their show. Cause they know that Cujo or any Cannon Land Moors affiliate is gonna come on there and destroy. And they're not they're not they're straddling away from the truth. They not straddling away from the truth. So I give honors and thanks to you in the Cannon Land Moors Grand Sheet. It's long. It's long. Give thanks to everybody out there who've been supporting, especially Canaan Land Moors. Moors here holding it, holding it down where they're at. All we got, all we got is us. Islam to all the Moors worldwide. Peace and love to all. Honest to all the mothers. Honest to the Prophet Noble Ju Ali. Islam. <laughs>